Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to the big Phasmophobia update. In this update, they have added so many new items and I've been making a ton of videos about the update already and I've unlocked quite a lot of them. Not all of them yet, but we're working on it and I obviously wanna make a bunch of videos about what these items are like, especially the new ones. And this is gonna be the first of those videos. In this video, we're gonna cover all of the tier one items. If you don't know how the new item system works, every item has three different versions of it the, the first one being the worst second one being slightly better and the third tier can be some of the most broken stuff you've ever seen so in this video we're going to cover all of the tier one items talk all about them some of them are actually really good and don't really need any upgrades some of them are absolutely terrible and you want to upgrade as fast as possible and so we're going to talk about them i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go so we're going to start i'm going to do all of the difficulties in this video but we're going to start are with professional because i want to show all of the items obviously and on professional you'll actually be able to use every single evidence item now we're going to start with a good old tanglewood and then after we've done a few runs on professional we're going to do nightmare and insanity as well to see how these items hold up against the higher difficulties and in some later videos i'll do some crazy challenges as well but here they are these are all the tier one items that you have uh the head cam is what the hell? You, I've never put this on yet. I didn't realize there was like a little thing at the top. It's literally worse than useless when you're playing in single player because it puts a little bar on the screen apparently. I didn't even know that. And it does absolutely nothing. Yes, you can use it over here, obviously. Wait. I can't see it right now because the game hasn't started yet, but I'm alone, so I can't use it. Now, the tier 2 and tier 3 versions, though are completely broken the tier 2 version has a built-in flashlight and the tier 3 version has night vision which is absolutely crazy but anyway let's talk about the tier 1 items for now i absolutely love the thermo i think the thermo is one of the best tier 1 items it is uh my go-to starter item depending on the weather though because there's something really interesting in the game that depending on which weather it is uh the thermo will be more or less useless or useful because in this weather for example it is sunrise weather i think which means that the temperatures are really high now the big change with the weather system or with the temperature system is that the um the temperatures rise and drop or drop and rise really slowly like way slower than they used to so if you have a hot weather like this the thermo is not your go-to starter item and i like to start with the emf like we usually does do which by the way look at this thing right here i love the emf level one it is absolutely amazing it makes a really cool sound as well when it's working um, i'm gonna just play a game and we'll use all the items as they go i don't want to just like inundate you with information right off the bat let's just play the game and i'll show you around with all these new items now because of the new temperature system uh i'm also going to talk about stuff that isn't directly related to the items obviously the new temperature system is actually extremely strong especially for finding the ghost room early the the new cold breath that isn't related to the freezing temperatures anymore is super useful if you don't know right now if the temperature drops below five it will start showing the the thing that used to be called freezing breath wait did i hear something over there um which uh, can be confusing at first because you think it might be freezing temperatures, which it's not. You'll have to actually bring in a ther thermometer to check if it's actual freezing temperatures. It's throwing something over here. Let's use our EMF on this. Our brand, it's throwing this. You see, so this is how it works. It is very inaccurate. That is, oh, look at that. We have EMF 5. <laughs> it is very inaccurate when it comes to specific values. However, if you have EMA 5, it is extremely obvious. It'll make a loud beeping noise, like a little, like a Geiger counter, basically. And it'll, like, go above 5, like, really loudly. So, I honestly think the Tier 1 EMF is pretty good. I think the Tier 2 is significantly better, but it's not like the Tier 1 is unusable or anything. Um, the main advantage of the Tier 2 over the Tier 1 EMF is that it's way easier to hear from a distance if you have EMF 5 or not, because the sound of EMF of the tier 2 emf has been greatly improved and now it's really obvious when it's like emf 5 but anyway we got emf 5 right here so our first item has been a success let's do now the the other items we're gonna play a ton of games by the way so if we don't get to all the items first or all the items you want to see immediately don't worry about it i'm just gonna bring them all in here uh the, the thing that you're gonna see as soon as you pick up the the video cam is that it sucks ass. It is extremely annoying, especially 
if you put it on a tripod look how tiny this screen is you can barely see it and that is mostly because it's on the tripod if you pick it off the tripod it's way larger so it's one of the, it's it's a little weird when you're playing single player i honestly like i don't really see the the, the need for a tripod at all um now they have changed the way the cameras they've added some new ghost interactions let's see if we got any orbies though let's just take it off this thing it's so hard to see um through something they've added a new uh ghost ability for every ghost where they can throw video equipment around if you have your camera on a tripod it's much less likely that your camera will be thrown around i have not had it happen a single time i've had i've played for like 10 hours yesterday i had my video cam on a tripod the whole time and i didn't get it toppled over a single time so i really uh, i haven't really tried not placing it on a tripod because i'm just so used to that so i don't know why you would even really need the upgrades when it comes to that uh, it just seems like as soon as the camera's on the tripod it doesn't push it over at all at least in 10 hours it didn't happen a single time oh hi there i'm gonna take a photo uh, that might even be a two-star photo there. Let's see. It was a three-star. Uh, what's really important, like, I'm going to go talk about all the items uh, multiple times. So don't worry about it. Just sit back, relax. What's really important about photos at the moment is that it has complete... That the whole system with photos has had a pretty significant rework where in order to get a three-star photo, not only does distance matter, which was the only thing that used to matter, now also the framing of the photo matters. If you put... Like if, oh my God, this ghost is kind of going crazy. Um, if you take a photo, let's say the ghost throws this. If I want to take a photo of this, I have to make sure that I take it centered in the middle. If I take the photo like this, and the, the thing is only in the corner of the frame, even though it's really close, it won't uh, give you a three-star photo. It will be like a two or even a one-star photo. So be really careful about that. Um, now that's the downside of the tier one. Photo cam, which is this one right here. Uh, it doesn't have a screen on it. So how do you center the photo? Well, really easy. You have a reticle right in the middle of your screen. If you just point that at the middle of the item and take a photo, it's gonna pretty much center the photo right here. So you don't have to worry about that. Just take it in the middle. Now, my favorite bu buff in the entire update, among my favorite things in the entire update, is that photo cams are now infinite. You can use photo cams uh, for uh for infinite photos later as you can even take more than 10 photos there's no point in doing it but you can just ho only take one photo cam with you through a contract and just keep taking photos uh and it'll last forever which is really really neat what you do have to be careful of which i have done wrong several times uh i was just checking if it touched this door is that you need to make sure that you don't lose it because if you lose your one photo cam obviously <laughs> like if you drop it somewhere during a hunt and you forget where it is you're gonna be uh <laughs> you're gonna be unable to take any more photos after that point so be careful um that that's just a small little thing though so yeah big buff for that uh honestly so what is the downside of the tier one photo cam the only downside is that it takes uh it, it cannot take photos as fast as the other ones besides it not having a screen but i really don't see that as a downside it doesn't really do much um which is barely like it it doesn't really like being able to take photos faster is like if you have a, a really crazy ghost that's doing like so many interactions back to back and you really need to spam the photo sure but it's not that big of a deal so i honestly think uh sticking with the tier one is a choice you could make it really doesn't matter too much now this is the glow stick we are familiar with the glow stick it is one of the only items that um ooh, that is an I like one of the only tier one items we've already seen before in the before this update. We got fingies right here. Uh, you literally just right click and it works like a UV light. However, the fingerprints work very different in this update. And I think glow sticks are actually like I'm I'm telling you, I think glow sticks are actually like better than the tier two flat UV flashlight at least. Because the problem I was having with the tier two flashlight, and it might just be a little buggy i don't know is that the uh charging the fingerprints can be a little tricky because the way it works right now you have to hold the U the uv light the uv light source oh god what the fuck this ghost is a little wild you have to hold the uv light source near the fingerprint for it to charge up oh god for it to charge up and then you can grab your photo cam 
and take a photo of it. Now, what's really nice about the glow stick is that it, it provides uh, UV light in a really large range. So charging things up, like look at this. It's literally charging up the fingerprint as it's on the ground right there. It's so good. The glow stick is honestly like better than the tier two glow stick, which is really interesting. I, I was expecting that to happen. Like I was expecting there to be some tier one items that would be better than the tier two counterpart, because especially what's so cool about the glow stick, like right now it's way worse, right? It's way less dense or it's way less uh, strong. You can shake it and it becomes strong again. You can right click it again. I don't know if there's a limit to this. Does anyone know if there's a limit to shaking the shaking the glow stick because i haven't found it yet i've only had to reuse a glow stick like twice and you can definitely reuse it twice uh but i don't think there is a limit so it's literally just like i don't know it seems like insanely good you can just take uh really easy photos of fingerprints so yeah big big fan of the tier one glow stick um let's move on to another item this is well obviously also we got fingerprints which is now called ultraviolet because before we move on with other evidence items let me take the salt as well the salt is really cool the tier one salt is uh the tier two and tier three salt definitely have more things to them so i can't wait i haven't unlocked those yet so i can't show you even if i wanted to um I'm going to just take one, actually. Take one and then take the paramite because I want to show you this. And I also want to show you the, the... Actually, let's do the... What's our sanity? Let's take the spill. Let's talk about the pill real quick. Um, how do the pills work? This is not a pill anymore. People are going to keep saying it because they think it's really funny to say, it's not called pills anymore. It's medication. Ha ha ha. Um, it's called sanity medication, right? Uh, or from now on, because not of all of them are pills. This one is actually some kind of snake oil or whatever. So you can right click it. It makes a very funny noise. Uh, and then it'll slowly start regening your sanity over 30 seconds. So it's not instant anymore like it used to be. And the only upgrade between tier one and tier two is 10 seconds. It's only, it's 10 seconds faster. That's all it does. So the tier two sanity pill basically like i i would say it's pretty much completely useless like i wouldn't even bother upgrading it at all it's not more expensive or anything uh, i just wanted to see it so i upgraded it because i wanted to see it but there really is no re like 10 seconds faster uh sanity pill re restoration is like completely meaningless i don't know why you need that ever um so yeah that is the sanity pill tier one uh is really good but the tier three however has a really big upgrade because the tier three when you take it, it gives you 10, it restores sanity in 10 seconds. And during those 10 seconds, your sprint is infinite. So you can just, if you pop it during a hunt, you can just, what the fuck? You can just run away from the ghost, uh, like super easily, which is extremely cool. So yeah, the tier three is better, tier two, not so much. Um, here we got a ghost. I'm gonna place salt underneath the ghost if I can. There you go. You go away. So I've just placed salt. Let's see, are we going to get footsteps? Uh, I just made the ghost step in the salt. Now, oh, it knocked on this window. It knocked on this window. The way the salt works right now is that if the ghost steps in it, any ghost except the wraith can step in the salt. However, only ghosts with that used to have fingerprints are capable of leaving the UV evidence. Uh, did I get that? I'm take I don't think I'm taking too far. Oh, hello there. Look at this. So this is the... I, I know I'm going from one item to the next really fast, but that's just because I want to, like, use the items as they're intended. Listen for this. <laughs> so this is the new paramic. If you turn it on, everything becomes quiet. So now I can really uh, loudly hear the TV. If I turn it on, I put on, like, a headset or something, and it gets completely quiet. However, if you point it at the TV, you're going to obviously hear it. Now, I can with pretty high confidence say that the Paramike Tier 1 may be the most useless item in the entire game at the moment because uh, the, the basic, it, it basically feels like they have made it to what the old Paramike used to be, but 10 times worse. Because what is the big downside? Yeah, there's a bone right there. I need to take a photo. Um, like... The Paramike was never a very good item to begin with because all it really does is make you hear sounds you've already, you can already hear with your own ears anyway. So it literally only makes them slightly louder now, which is just very like minuscule. 
However, what makes this like borderline trolling to use the paramic right now is that let's say you're using it you're trying to find the ghost room i know it's a small map so it's not a very good example but i'm pointing it at this room right here oh <laughs> holy fucking shit brother <laughs> that scared the hell out of me Okay, well, thank you, Ghost, for the demonstration. <laughs> Let's say you're pointing it at this this room right now. If the ghost throws something in the nursery, I'll literally not hear it. The paramic is, like, m worse than useless right now because if you're not pointing it exactly... Like, if I'm pointing it at this room, it lets me know whatever happens in this room. However, if something happens right next to me, I will not hear it because it's muffling the audio. So... It tells me what happens in the room in front of me, which I could hear anyway. I don't need the paramic for that. But it ruins every other direction and makes you unable to hear sound from any other direction. It is so bad. It is so bad. Like, I don't... It, I just don't see a reason to ever use this except when you have the paramic objective. That is really the only time you want to use the paramic. So yeah, don't even bother with them. They are completely, completely horrendous. I don't see a use case for them at all. Um, the only thing that makes them, like, they're fun. I, I'm not trying to, like, ruin your party here because they are fun as hell. Like, during a hunt for... Jesus Christ, this ghost is fucking wild. <laughs> is this only an option? Okay. During a hunt, for example, um, you can point it at the ghost and then you'll hear their footsteps which can actually be useful for figuring out if it is a fast or slow ghost you can hear where they are which is kind of neat like it is fun to use during a hunt it is just completely bad in finding the ghost room which is fine the, the tier two and tier three are better there but i just wanted to let you know that the tier one is really bad okay anyway now that i've completely bashed the paramic let's move on to other items uh we have the thermo i love the tier one thermo i think wild hot take i think the tier one thermo is one of the only items that has a relatively good argument for it being better than the tier three version which is honestly like you can't say that about any of the other items all of the other items are massively outclassed by the tier three version this one is like honestly kind of similar because now i haven't used the tier three version so i'm talking out of my ass here but if i'm comparing it to the tier two version i like this one more the reason being that it has two uses which the the okay it's going down the the first use is you can pretty much instantly like what's the big downside of this one compared to the tier two is that it is slower to show you the accurate temperature however if you wait it'll actually show you an accurate temperature which the tier two and tier three do not give you an accurate temp oh god i'm gonna die oh my god the tier two and tier three both do not give you an accurate temperature they have both the tier two has a plus or minus two randomization like it'll show you plus two or minus two in a range between that which makes it really annoying to use sometimes and even the tier three has a plus one minus one range in which it shows plus two only oh not minus two okay only plus two i didn't know that okay thank you i, I assumed it was just a range both ways okay it's only plus two it doesn't go low oh of course it doesn't go lower because otherwise it would give you freezing okay <laughs> otherwise it might show you freezing when it's not a freezing ghost makes sense uh, i thought that would be an edge case uh but anyway so what i really like about this one is that if you just have it in the ghost room it will show you like an exact temperature which is extremely useful if you have if you want to rule out freezing so uh let's say I, right now for example it's like stuck at five like you see how precise it is it is like completely stuck at this temperature and it is actually going down now what you will often see if you have a ghost that doesn't have freezing is that it'll be stuck right above zero degrees if it is stuck there for a little while you can rule out freezing temperatures and say that it's not freezing whereas for the other temperature or the other thermos it takes a little longer to rule out freezing because you have to like keep shooting it hoping you don't get a high roll and it like it, it just gets a little confusing like and uh, especially the tier two is extremely slow i just uh, because the big downside obviously of the tier one compared to the tier two is that it 
takes a while to show you those values. However, I argue it doesn't really because as soon as I step into a room that's not the ghost room, I can see that it's going up. So even though it hasn't shown me the direct temperature right now, I can see, oh, it's going up. This is not the ghost room. And I can immediately leave that room because I know it's not the ghost room. I see it's still going up here. Boom, it's not the ghost room. I can go in here and you can really quickly go between all the rooms and just see in which room it, the trajectory goes down immediately. So in this room, I step into this room. I immediately see no waiting time, no holding a button, nothing. Oh, God. I immediately see that the temperature is going down. So without waiting at all, I immediately know this is the ghost room, which honestly makes this the fastest thermo to use compared to even the tier three, which is kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, so I really like the tier one thermo. Oh, what is this ghost, dude? I'm trying to explain shit. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to explain all the items in this first game right here, but that's fine. But, uh, okay, it's extremely quiet. I think it's a miling. Now I can hear the footsteps. Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, I haven't even used the spear box or the, or the writing yet. Uh, I'm sorry, I got a little lost in the sauce there. Um, let's use this one. This is the spear box. It is kind of annoying because when you turn it on, it sounds like this. Uh, but that's the way it is. You just say, where are you? Oh, God, God. Where are you? How old are you? I need to make sure it's working. Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? And you can see the little red dot, red dot next to the ghost icon. That means it heard my voice. It doesn't mean that it, you got a response, obviously, because I didn't get a response. But um, if you get a white dot instead and you hear something, that means you got a response. It is pretty easy to use. I think there has been a significant nerf, though, to the spirit box. I, th I think the spirit box is one of those items that is actually kind of useful, even though... Like, it pretty much does the exact same thing as the tier 2 and the tier 3. I think upgrading is really useful because the tier 1 has a really low chance of getting spirit box out of the ghost. What, what I'm so used to with the spirit box is that when you're in the ghost room and the ghost is there and you ask, where are you? You immediately get a response because that's how it used to work. Um... It, it used to pretty much be a 100% chance to get Spirit Box. Not anymore with the Tier 1. You, I have had many runs where I've spent like, I don't know, uh, like several minutes asking where are you questions in the ghost room. And then I like, like mentally ruled out Spirit Box. And then later I tried it again and suddenly I got Spirit Box immediately. So it's like, it, it can be really hit or miss. Sometimes you get it right away. Sometimes you don't get it for a while. Uh, make sure you're in the right ghost room, uh, of course. That's always important. But yeah, I'd say that the tier one is pretty damn bad. Okay, wait, no, there you go. So it is actually freezing here. This is what I really like about the thermo as well. You literally just leave it. You just leave it in a room and then you pick it up every now and then. And then you just see if it's freezing. Like you don't, I, I really like how passive it is. You'll just leave it here, and then I just pick it up, check me. Oh, it's freezing. Like, I don't have to wait. I don't have to do anything. It is just immediately giving me the value. Not only is it, like, pretty quick at finding the ghost room, but it also has this nice, like... It, it updates when it's not in your inventory, which I think is really neat about it. So, yeah, I, I've, I've said enough about the, about the thermo. I really like it, obviously. I think it's really good. And I also like the look of it. I like that it's a new item. Uh, let's check for Orbeez in here, because... I think I got bamboozled there again. I've been, this is a thing unrelated to the items, but I've been getting bamboozled constantly uh, by ghosts uh, during hunts. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, ah! My God, man. So I've been getting, let's test for Jin. So how it was faster. So I've been getting bamboozled constantly by ghosts because they are loud as shit. You can hear right now. You can barely hear me because the ghosts are fucking loud. I don't know why they're so loud. <laughs> like they used to be like actually like half as loud as they are now. Like when you're close to a ghost during a hunt right now, it is fucking like blasting your eardrums. It's actually crazy. But what that does, so besides it being like loud, it's actually... 
It's because the whole sound system was replaced for Paramax, I see. So, uh, besides it being actually kind of useful to detect the ghost at a long range, uh, I'm gonna leave this match, by the way. Uh, repel the ghost. No, let's do repel the ghost while we're at it. Uh, the, this, by the way, look at this. I love the lighter. I think the lighter... I, I, ha I can't... I know I'm, like... I am predicting things. The lighter, I really don't see a use case for a tier 2 and a tier 3 lighter. I think the tier 1 match is more than good enough for every single use case you might need it for. I really don't see why you would ever want to upgrade because the main use case for uh, a for a light source or or uh, for a fire source in this game is lighting smudge sticks. And lighting smudge sticks with this thing is instant. If they would were to like nerf that part of it, like if they were to make it have a slight delay between uh, like different tiers. Like if you ha if you use a tier one match, it's slightly slower to light your smudge stick. It would be like I would upgrade immediately as soon as I could. But oh the tier, oh the tier, oh god. Come here. There you gonna make it slow once you guys add animations? I see. Okay, so there you go. So right now, no the tier three is also consumable, right? By the way, uh. Yeah, but not for long. Okay, wait. Huh? What do you mean? Okay, you guys are doing that pretty soon then. Okay, so th there you go. So right now, there is really no reason to upgrade beyond tier one at all. But once they add animations for it, there's going to be a pretty significant reason. Because obviously, uh, if you are during a hunt, like you're trying to save yourself with a quick smudge and it takes forever uh for that smudge to go to go through that is a disaster <laughs> like that would be really really bad uh where's my photo cam i think i dropped it somewhere i don't know there's still f there was fingies here right somewhere fingies this is what i was talking about if you lose your photo cam that's the one downside of only having one of them if you lose oh at the entrance if you lose it you're gonna be out of photos okay i dropped it at the entrance thank you guys i'm quickly taking this photo uh Let's run run the hell out of here i didn't i did find the bone actually wait a minute we can get a perfect game here by the way if i just get it to step in the salt and i take a bunch of salt photos i think the ghost moved by the way which we can check pretty quickly here oh uh, it's still pretty cold here but you can walk around i'm just gonna leave real quick because i'm scared <laughs> i'm a little baby it says disturbed salt yes that's the new name of it um okay we were talking uh so the writing book and the dots i'll show you in the next game because there's really no reason to use it here because it is it's not a writing or, or dots ghost because we already have all three evidence uh emf ultraviolet and freezing <laughs> temperatures so yeah um the tier one salt is way worse oh my god i'm actually gonna die i'm it's over oh never mind <laughs> it's not over this is crazy man <laughs> like actually what the fuck What the hell? Is incense working now? Okay, that's what I wanted to say as well. So right now, in this version that we're playing right now, like at this very moment, smudge sticks are horrendously bugged. I don't know how exactly, but if you smudge the ghost, it. I think my 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 hypothesis right now is that when you smudge the ghost, it does make it confused so it doesn't target you for six seconds. However, it still kills you during those six seconds. So I don't, I don't really know if that's true, but I have died. I like have lit a smudge stick and pretty much immediately died. <laughs> like as soon as, um, I'm just gonna place salt around because I think the salt works during a hunt now, right? I want to test that actually. Can the ghost step in this salt during a hunt? That's a question that I haven't answered yet. So let's try that out right now. I know it can step. Jesus Christ. Uh, no, I don't know if it's uh, only tier one smudge sticks that are bugged like bugged like that, but yeah, at least the tier one smudge stick is really, really bad right now. Um, so don't rely on it to keep you safe during a hunt, basically. That's all I'm trying to say. All three are broken. Okay, all of them are broken, but this is going to be fixed soon. So I'm just saying this, that in the off chance that by the time you're watching this video, it's still not fixed. Keep an eye out for the smudge sticks. Don't rely on them blindly. Uh, I don't know if it... Hmm. 
Maybe I, I think it just went into the basement immediately. We're gonna have to do more testing of that. I I think I'm gonna leave. This ghost is too crazy. Yes, I only need four more photos for a perfect game, but we're not gonna be able to talk about anything because this ghost is just gonna go fucking crazy on us over here. Um, because I want to do more games. Uh, so yeah, that's the gin, wild gin here. Um, I I am obviously not done here. We we still need to talk about the sound sensor. Uh, motion sensor is actually really cool. I really like the motion sensor. It was free. It was below zero, right? I did see that, right? Yeah, I did see that, right? Okay, so there you go. Uh, what's cool? Look at that. 1400. This was professional. From a professional game, I got way... Like, I got pretty much the exact same amount of experience as you would get on an Apocalypse Challenge before the update. So you get way more money now, and they have made most of the items cheaper. So if you were having trouble dying a lot and losing a lot of items that way... I have happy news for you that you're not going to be losing as much money because it is way cheaper now to buy items than it used to be on the uh, on the previous update and you're making more money. So it's kind of wild. Like you're uh, the main thing that you're going to spend a lot of money on on this update is upgrades. Every upgrade costs like 3000. Some of them go up to 15000. So yeah, that's where you're going to spend almost all your money. Okay. Anyway, we're back. Uh start I haven't been able to show you the crucifix. The crucifix um only works once the tier one only works once and has a smaller range the, the tier one has this exact same range as it used to have before the update however it only works once which is a pretty uh like it's it makes it way worse obviously because you can only use both of them once uh and the tier two is two times and the tier three is also two times however really cool about the tier three is that it also stops cursed hunts which if you don't know what a cursed hunt is it is um a hunt caused by using a cursed possession. So if you, for example, have a summoning circle and you place the knee, that crucifix underneath a summoning circle and then you light it, you will get the ghost event, but then the hunt will be prevented by the summoning circle or by the crucifix, which is really, really cool. Um, it's, as you can see, the temperature of this weather is around, uh, I don't know, seven degrees, seven and a half degrees, which I think is like, snow weather has become my new favorite weather because from my experience, it is extremely useful to find the ghost room quickly, even without a thermo. So what you do uh, when you have a good weather like this one, you turn on the breaker right away. And then as soon as you do the breaker, turn the breaker on, all rooms that are not the ghost room will slowly start rising, start rising in temperature and the ghost room will continue to, lo to, to go down in temperature. So as I'm standing in this room, I can see that it is slowly going up, right? If I'm, if my eyeballs, I, I usually would wait a few moments here. Yeah, it's super slowly going up. So, you know, it's not this room, but you can just start walking around and see if in any room in this one, it's going down, which might, you, oh, there you go. It's going down. I think, the, I think we found the ghost room already, unless it's just random. I, I think it might just be settling. I think, yeah, I think that's the, this is not necessarily tied to the, the, the thermo in any way. Um, it is just because of the new system. They've made it way slower. They have made the temperature rise and fall uh, at a 30% of what it used to rise and fall, uh, which means that it just takes like two more than two times as long before you can get an accurate temperature reading. So yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta be a little patient. That's all. Uh, we need to do motion sensor. So that's nice. We're gonna be able to do that later. Uh, and the incense, obviously. I'm just gonna take this in. Um, I'm not gonna do, I think I'm kinda done explaining the paramic. It is a fun item though, don't get me wrong. Uh, and if we ever see the paramic objective, I'm obviously gonna use it for that. Um, but it's just, I just really don't see a, a world in which you can use it to find the ghost room. Um, but maybe it's a skill issue, who knows? I just, the fact that it muffles sounds right next to you, just on small maps at least, I wouldn't use it. On big maps, because the range of the of the paramax are pretty good. But for large maps, it's it's I could see oh ah uh, there's orbs. Look at that. I found it even on the tripod. Okay, so we found the ghost room right there. Surprising. Uh let's see what the thermo thinks about it. So the thermo is still at pretty high temperature here, which is kind of interesting. Uh in here it's probably gonna go down more as you can see immediately freezing breath I, i'm gonna sorry if you're watching my videos or if you're, you've watched my videos or you're gonna watch them going forward i'm gonna keep calling it freezing breath i don't think that's a habit i can break maybe slowly over time i'll be able to break it but um 
even though I call it freezing breath, it has nothing to do with freezing temperatures because it'll, it shows up as soon as the temperature drops to four or below, uh, you will start getting these cold breath uh, particles coming out of your character, uh, which indicates that that room is cold. And most of the time it indicates that you're in the ghost room, unless it's like, fr unless it's like snow weather outside or something, which is like extremely useful because it means that <laughs> like, um, Finding the ghost room can be done without even using any item at all. It's it's like one of the coolest changes they've done. Uh, it is, it has made the game, or it's made finding the ghost room and like refinding the ghost room uh, have way more interesting like gameplay associated with it rather than it just being old thermo down and uh, you can actually like constantly pay attention to see if the temperature is changing. Um, it's nice. It's a neat change. Okay. Uh, anyway, it touched that door there, so I'm gonna quickly check. I really hope we get to use dots this round. Uh, it touched it right here. I'm not seeing any fingies. Uh, I'm also gonna grab the... Put the writing book down and grab this guy. Check for EMF. Make sure... The one thing I've been making mistakes with constantly is that when you toggle your inventory, the EMF turns is off by default. Make sure to turn it on. It's It's probably only something i'm running into because i'm just stupid uh but make sure to turn on your emf when you toggle your inventory otherwise you're gonna just be standing at something and not getting any values um all right so how does the writing book work they've added something really cool if you place the writing book it'll show you this circle around it which is the range in which the ghost can interact with the writing book so if you place it in the middle of the room and you look at the circle you know like okay in this place it's going to be covering most of the room um that's a really good spot now the tier two and tier three have larger ranges as well as an increased chance for the ghost to interact with it so like this is one of those cases where the tier one with enough time does just fine but upgrading always makes it easier because upgrading not only increases the range but it also makes it interact with the oh god uh, it also makes the ghost interact with it faster so yeah it's it's better like it, there's no arguing that the tier two and tier three are just like uh com like just objectively better than the tier one because there is no reason for it for like you just want to get it as fast as possible right but still it does the job it does what it does um, now what's really cool uh is the completely new dots system they have over uh they have completely reworked the way dots works uh in the game uh it used to work like the writing book where the ghost can randomly decide to interact with the item that you place in the room like dots and writing used to be really similar now they are very different and i've been having a, a little rough time adjusting to it but it's gonna i'm gonna get used to it over time um right now dots is kind of similar to paramike i it kind of gives me the feeling of using the paramike for like figuring out if it's a banshee or something because uh the way you use it is you basically have to point it at where you think the ghost is because sometimes, randomly, the ghost will decide to go into dots mode, which is where it walks towards the close, like the player that's a player that's in the room. If there's no player in the room, it'll just randomly walk around. Um, so if you're in the room and you're pointing it at the ghost, you'll literally just see it walk towards you. And if you have a friend or yourself have a photo cam, you can actually take a photo of that interaction where the ghost walks towards you and it will count as a ghost photo not just dots photo no it counts as a full-on ghost photo which is really cool now uh i've this is the one evidence i am not qualified to really give you many tips about because it is the one i have been struggling with constantly all day yesterday um because i the tier one is in my opinion really bad but that is mostly because it is a complete shift of how you need to use it the tier two you set it and forget it. You put it in the room and you just wait until you see dots. This one, you have to actively use as a, like a UV light or like a paramic. Uh, it still does the job, but you have to like actively use it. Now they are changing. Uh, I, if you watched my stream yesterday, you know that I was constantly complaining about how you couldn't place the dots projector. They're changing this. They're gonna add a placeable function for this flashlight, which is really cool because that means that, for example, in this situation, if I could place it there, pointing into the room, 
it would basically cover the entire room. Now, because I can't do that, in VR you could, but I just can't position my character in a way as to set it up properly like that. Uh, I The best I can do is like throwing it down in the middle like this, but then it only covers the ground. It still covers quite a bit. It'll probably get some stuff done, but I just wish I could place it on there, which is gonna be possible soon. So I think that's a really neat buff, at least a mental buff for the dots. Like it's not... Uh, a good strat at the moment is making a, a cross shape with two dots on the floor. Okay, let's let's uh, let's listen to the dev here and uh, <laughs> and and try that. I brought two of each version of the dots and uh, writing book for situations like these. Uh, it's it's similar with that. It's similar with the um, like. Oh, that's big EMF five by the way. Um, it's similar to how, like, it's always better to bring two writing books, two dots projectors, because, uh, especially with writing books, the more writing books you have, the higher the chance of getting an interaction. But also with dots projectors, like before, you could... Oh, I think I saw... I think I saw it there. Huh? I'm pretty sure I saw it. Oh, there it is! Look, that is what it looks like. I'm so glad we saw it. Okay, so there you go. That's what it looks like. I don't know why it didn't walk towards me, but um, it looks like just a regular ghost event, but instead of it being like a vis visual ghost of that walks to you and like makes a bunch of noise, it just walks around in like this invisible mode that you can only uh, reveal by using the dots projector. So yeah, there you go. That is how the new dots looks like. It's just a, a guy walking around. But what's really cool about it is that it's the actual ghost. It's no longer just a random interaction. It is the actual ghost walking, which you can also use to figure out where the ghost is. So because I saw the ghost walk that way, I knew that it went there. So then, ah! Fucking hell, brother. It's fast. It's a Raichu. It's a Raichu, of course. I'll die. <laughs> so yeah, at least we got to show the dots here. Not the writing book yet, but that'll come next time. <laughs> Probably gonna take some sanity pills. I've been really greedy when it comes to taking sanity pills. I have barely taken any because I don't know how expensive they are. I think they're like 30. So every sanity pill you take, you have to repurchase. Which means that in a situation like this, where the game is almost like where you have figured out which ghost it is and you could do some uh, objectives to get more money, I have opted to more often than not just leave rather than try to complete the objectives by taking the pills because um, it just doesn't feel worth it. Like taking many pills uh, would cost a lot of money and then getting money back from doing the objective. It just feels like a lot of work to break even basically. But. As you can see, my sanity is still pretty high, so taking only one pill here will basically solve my problem, so I'm gonna do that, uh, because just one is not that expensive. Uh, I think they stack, right? If I take two, let's let's try. If I take two, will it, like, doubly, go doubly fast, or will it just, like, prolong the... Will it, like, go all the way up to 100 now? I'm curious. They don't stack? That's a really important thing to know. Will it go all the way up to 100? It will. So they do stack. Is that it, I was at 50, it should have never bought me up to 100 with just one, right? How much do sanity? No, maybe, actually. I think they do stack, like, the, clearly there. It went up to 100. Okay, anyway, we need to do motion sensor, incense, and ghost photo. We should really... Uh, so let's grab motion sensor and just grab this for some uh, foot or some salt interactions. Can you OD on the meds? Uh, no. Now, this is the tier one uh, motion sensor, which has been improved over the original one. The only thing that has been nerfed about it is that it no longer makes a boop sound when the ghost steps on it. You're going to have to look at it to see it, which is how it used to work like a few updates ago, like a year ago. That's exactly how it used to work. So I'm kind of like it's it's like, oh, we're back to that for my for my brain. Like it doesn't really feel that special. And you can now actually see the range on it. Tier 2 does have sound, yes. Okay, I don't have it yet, so I couldn't tell. Um, you can see the range on it. Look at this. It does boop in the truck. Yeah, yeah, it boops in the truck, but not right here. So you can really easily see how far it reaches. And I'm pretty sure that this range has been buffed, or I just never realized how crazy long the range was. I think I probably just never realized. Yeah, and I was going to show you this, show this, but CJ uh, was ahead of me. Uh, you can also click it off on the wall, which the use case for that is literally right here. We have a Raichu. 
uh, turning this off, if you have it turned on, it counts as an electronic item for the Raichu, which will make it faster. If I turn it off, it won't do that. Now you can do the same thing with, I with basically any item. Like you can turn them off now. Can I even turn this off? Probably not, right? I, I think I'm gonna have to just drop that. You can now actually turn off items by clicking them. I don't think this one. For some reason you can't do the EMF sensor. I don't know why. <laughs> that seems a little random. Um, but yeah, you can turn, oh, I guess it's because it's not an electronic. No, this is an electronic, right? It literally has, like it must be. Uh, I guess it just doesn't, doesn't do that for some reason. Um, you can't do that with a tier one, okay. Uh, regardless, so now we have turned all the equipment off, which is good for, uh, for countering Raichus. Which is specifically what we're up against right here. Uh, so that's neat. Anything else? So the salt can only be used twice, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, we really need to test if you can use it during a hunt. But I guess we're not gonna get a hunt. We could get the ghost photo with the music box and then just get a hunt that way. I think we might do that. It's not electronic? How can it not be electronic? It literally is electronic, right? <laughs> like, it literally has lights on it. Like, how does that work? I mean, maybe it's just not electronic for, for whatever reason. It is? Yeah, it has a switch and everything. Like, I don't understand. Okay, uh, can you give us a sign? Is it still here? We can check with this. It is still here. So this is what I was talking about. It often gets stuck at, like, right above zero, which is uh, what it does when it's not a freezing ghost. But it seems like it's actually going up, so it might have... You see how it's going up right now? It might have changed Ghost Room. Oh, it's going down again. I guess it's just randomly going up and down a little bit. Maybe there is some variance to it. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, could you please give us a sign, Ghost? You were so active before, and now you're a little bitch. What happened? I'm going to bring some salt. Um, motion sensor. I haven't done motion sensor. I need to cleanse. So the, the basic, the, the main difference, if the smudge sticks were working, what is the main difference between tier one, tier two, and tier three? It is the range at which they repel the ghost. And I think the duration or, cause uh, what else is, no, I think it's only range. It's not duration, right? Cause that would be really confusing. Uh, it's range. And for the third one, it's not a consumable. I think that's the big, big difference. The second one has a bigger range. And the third one, you can use, like, it doesn't use it up after the contract is over. I think that's all. All right. Wait, tier three, tier two slows the ghost and tier three stops the ghost? Okay. Well, I haven't unlocked them, so I, I had no idea. But that's actually crazy. Okay, so tier two doesn't just... Okay, that's a huge buff. That's actually super useful. So the tier two makes the ghost slow and the tier three just stops them. Which, because the main thing that makes uh, smudge sticks bad sometimes is you'll smudge the ghost and then it'll just like follow your exact footsteps to where you were going and then kill you uh right after the smudge stick timer runs out but if you have a tier three one um oh tier what oh you got your derpy sloth you're talking about the salt the, the smudges do the smudges can we can we get a fact check on this i don't know what people are getting confused uh the tier two smudge stick slows the tier three stops i don't know i'm asking you guys because i haven't seen them yet as much as do extra things check the shop i'm in the game i'm playing minecraft it's an online game i can't pause it don't be like my mom <laughs> they're bullying me <laughs> okay anyway i've just wasted all my salt by the way because i oh there you go look it stepped in the salt well obviously but there you go. Uh, it's easy peasy. And then you can just take two photos. Now, you have to make sure, once again, to center these photos very well. Because if you don't, you're going to get two star photos. Um, there you go. And you give us a sign. I'm going to place this in the room. I thought I was going to bring two, but I guess I'm... I guess I didn't. Uh, I really wish... I really hope we're going to get Spirit Box uh, in, uh, in the game after this. Because I love the Spirit Box. I think I need one more game to explain everything properly, and then we can do Nightmare and Insanity after that. Uh, I threw something. This? Nothing? Oh, this. Nope. Just the, the range on this is also very tiny, by the way. Okay, is it still here? It is still here. It's just flat out zero. I think that's my... I think that's why I like it so much, because just the... Like whenever, how I use the thermo in the game right, like before the update was 
my brain goes is the ghost still here i pick up the thermal i point it at the floor yes it's still here which is basically exactly what this one does it like instantly tells you whether or not the ghost is still here and you don't have to like hold a button wait for a thing and then like have it pop up i think that's the main difference um anyway though we i think we're gonna go a little crazy we're just gonna smudge here i love it man hear the noise as well much that should give us the objective we got it but we did oh i turned off this i turned off the motion sensor i forgot about that <laughs> lol whoops i was like why didn't i get motion sensor there uh regardless it's fine we need to get the ghost photo too uh not for the well actually for the objective yeah a uh, big change with this by the way is what my strategy or a strategy used to be is that you would fill your book with tier three easy photos or or uh, three star easy photos and then you would uh take the ghost photo after the book was already full you can no longer do that in order for this objective to be completed you have to take a one two or three star ghost photo that shows up in the book which is actually like pretty it's it's pretty hard uh because taking a ghost photo is completely ghost dependent yeah bone i'm gonna quickly check if there's a bone down here and if it's not then uh no skin off my bag I, the bone is not that important anymore honestly like the only thing it does is enable you to get the perfect investigation bonus but it doesn't multiply anymore with the difficulty multiplier so getting the bone on like a apocalypse challenge or something is basically this it's the exact same value as getting it on a uh amateur mission it just doesn't it doesn't give you any extra value oh touch the door uh, let's see, EMF. Was it this one? It was this one. It was this one? What? I'm losing my mind out here. It was just the bathroom. Oh, oh my god! No. Oh. My photo cam. It's right there. No! Ah! <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so yeah, unlucky. That's, uh, I mean... Uh, that's the one thing I've noticed with this update because all the items look different. I've been losing my items constantly, especially the the crucifix. Oh, what did I throw? This one? Was it this? What was it? This one? It's giving him a five. It touched this door, right? It touched this door. I want to try and. Oh no, it didn't. Yes, it did. Okay, I want to try and take a photo of this. It's right there. Isn't it? No. I don't know how these photos work. I thought it was at the handle, but it's not. Like, so what's really important about these photos is because you have to censor them, you need to know exactly where you need to take the door photos. I swear it was at the handle. It's top, right? I don't know. I'm just, I think I'm going to stop taking photos of these specific doors unless I have a fingerprint ghost because I've had too many mistakes. I just don't know what this, like on the white doors in Tanglewood, it's in the middle. On the wooden doors in Bleasdale, it's at the top right. I just don't know where it is for this one. We'll have to see. Uh, maybe it's top left. Who knows? Uh, regardless, let's do the music box now. Here we go. Because I really want to see if we can step in the salt during a hunt. I might die for this, but whatever. Door photos will re be removed with the future system. What does that mean? Like because of the video system? Hello? Okay, I think it heard me. No? Hello? It sounds so close, but it's so far. Come over here! It's impossible. Every ghost feels like a yokai. Every ghost feels like a miling. Oh. Like there's so little difference between it being like in three, like three rooms over or right next to you. It's just always loud. But look at that. It can step in salt. Even the tier one salt, which has no like benefits during a hunt. It can still step into the salt during a hunt. So there you go. Uh, which is, I think the main use case for this is just being able to take photos of it. 
for filling up the book. And make sure to do that, because basically, if you take both the salt photos, I think that pretty much pays for... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. That's fucked, dude. I'm alive. It's so f I hate it! Like, where is he? He sounds like he's freaking dancing on my head right now. It's so loud. Okay, there we go. I f I'm safe. Oh boy. Okay, I need to get the hell out of here. This shit's crazy. Did I do all objectives? I did do all objectives, which objectives are by far the most important. If you figure out the objectives and the ghost, that alone gives you so much money. Because if you get the ghost correct, all the objectives get double value. And they have increased the objective payout by a ton. Uh, it used to be like five per objective and now it's like 30 per objective. So yeah, uh, they have massively increased the, the payout there. Uh, we haven't used candles yet. As I said, we're doing one more regular professional game and then we're hopping into some nightmare games. Um, I know these videos have been really long, by the way, that I've been posting. There's just so much to cover. Like, there's just, like, so much new content in terms of new items, new little mechanics, little tidbits of information that it's just really hard to be... Like, obviously, I could be super concise and just, like, leave out a bunch of stuff, but I don't want to do that. I just want to be complete. But there, we're going to level up to level 40, which might have... Have we unlocked anything? I think at 39, I should have unlocked something. Sometimes it doesn't show you the pop-up for whatever reason. Oh, we're about to unlock the level, the tier two lighter. Anyway, we're playing with the tier one items. That's the whole goal here. Uh, so let's let's run it back. Oh, I can't move right now. I'm stuck. Uh, I really want the tier two head cam because I think tier two and tier three head cams might be the... Oh, it's freezing. Might be the most important items in the game because especially the tier three like, the, basically, the thing that they do is give you a new inventory slot because they count, like, the Tier 2 is a flashlight built in and the Tier 3 is night vision built in, which means that uh, you no longer have to carry a flashlight around. Instead, you can just uh, use the head cam and save an inventory space, which is incredible. Um, okay, we have Crucifix, EMF, and go so this time we're actually gonna do crucifix which is nice we almost got lisa not quite though uh what items have i not i really hope it's spirit box this time but we can't really force that obviously uh, i'm just looking at the items what weather is it always important to check the weather now uh oh there we go it is windy which i think windy is cold yeah it's like remotely cold not very cold so i'm not gonna go with that then i'm just gonna go with my good old ears like if uh what's broke uh if it's if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's the uh, saying I was looking for. Uh, you can literally just hear the, hear the ghost. Like, you don't... I heard something there, but I was talking over it. Excuse me! I think it threw the shoe in the, in the hallway here. There's a big boner right there. It did do exactly that. Good photo. Um... It's right here. You can see it's pretty inaccurate when it comes to values, but that's not important because you only care about EMF5 anyway. Okay, so we got a ghost right there and we got a giant rib cage over here. Easy. Uh, what was our cursed item? Maybe board? It is not board. I can't wait to show the tier three items. I mean, I can't wait to have them because I don't have them right now. Uh, look at all that. Look at the big friggin' tower of activity. What the hell? Okay, well, that's already EMF reader, obviously. Now let's take in the writing book and the spirit box. And also we need the, the writing book is always just nice to place early because as per usual, as per the, the previous one, it just takes a while to get it. Even more so with the tier one version. I think we quickly need to see. Also, weird interaction with the spirit box. If you throw it like this, it bounces off your character. And if you do that perfectly, it can start floating. Look at that. I don't know why, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> you can just make it float. It's 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 a little weird. <laughs> it's a little strange. <laughs> ten out of ten, never fix it. Uh, also, super niche little thing. Uh, I've had it only happen with Gorios, but I'm assuming it can happen with multiple ghosts. If you have a dots ghost, 
there is a really rare chance that the ghost will do dots, but during the dots, it starts a hunt, which means that the ghost will be invisible during that hunt, and you can only see it with a dots, like flashlight or dots projector, which is absolutely terrifying. It means that you like you you just don't see the ghost it's completely in invisible and it's really cool and i really hope they keep it for gorios although they're probably just gonna fix it but it's such a cool like ability like i would like gorio so much more if they did that like 10 percent of the time because it would mean that i don't have to be annoyed at gorios all the time because i really hate gorios right now especially with the new dots being like much harder to get than the old dots uh, for me, at least, because I'm not good at it yet. Oh, it's in here. I think it is. I think it's in here. It's just such a cool ability. New Gorio ability. Yeah, I had eight Gorios yesterday. It was absolute hell. It was, like, so annoying. I was going insane. Um, all right, place the writing book in here. You see how much it covers, by the way? So I usually place them separated, but I don't think there's any reason to do that. Just stack them up and try to get as much out of the range as possible. Uh, and we're gonna bring some more items in here. Pretty much explained uh, most of the basic stuff. We didn't see EMF yet. Is there any Orbos? I think I'm just gonna get it off there for a moment. The tier two, okay, by the way, tripods. I haven't talked about tripods yet. As I said earlier, uh, it's here. As I said, the, um, so in this one, you take a photo of the middle right there uh the tripods don't really get knocked over i haven't seen it happen a single time they probably do i just haven't seen it yet and i've played for like 10 hours so oh my god so it's really not that big of a deal oh my god that is even louder than it used to be goodness gracious shut up um okay no fingies then doesn't look like it so i'm gonna rule out fingies unless obake um I was looking for fingerprints. It's not called fingerprints anymore. It's ultraviolet now. <laughs> Lol. Um, is it going to be freezing? It is freezing. Okay, look at that. So, as you see, you just drop this in the ghost room. Yes, it's not as fast if you... Like, I'm never in a hurry to figure out if it's freezing, though. So, like, in these situations, the, the like, ones that give you accurate values right away are more useful to detect it quickly. I'm just not really... I don't really have to detect it quickly. Uh, I it touched this. But I was too late. Okay, uh, let's try spare box. I really hope it's gonna be spare box. Where are you? Are you here? Try EMF. This thing. Yes, take a photo. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? It's so annoying. <laughs> Holy fuck, is it this? I'm putting it in my inventory so I see if the EMF goes away. Uh, just to be able to take the photo better. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Now, I can't really say if it is uh, a spirit box. Or if I. You can't rule out spirit box as easy as you used to be able to do. Because, as I said, they're pretty bad. They're pretty terrible, uh, and they don't get many responses, so you might have to wait a little bit. Uh, anyway, we don't, we should bring in the dots projector, because it's probably that. Uh, the cool part about the tripod tier too, I know I'm, like, sorry, this is probably really hard to follow if you try to, if you're, like, having a notepad and trying to write down what I'm saying, you're gonna have to make a lot of corrections, but I'm assuming no one is doing that. Um, I wanted to grab something. My, my brain started, stopped working. Uh, what did I want to grab? Do we need anything? Crucifix. Okay, crucifix. And dots projector. Yes, very much. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, the tier 2 tripod can be moved around in the truck, which is more of a novelty than it is actually useful. It's cool. I like it, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, it's not like, oh my god, that is such a huge buff because you can just move them around, right? You can just uh, pick up the camera and just, like, do it yourself. Like here, I can just see these orbs. I don't need the tripod to be able to be moved around. Like it just doesn't do very much. It could, some rooms are big. Yeah, but I'm telling you like, you can just like here, I'm doing it without going to the truck. Like I, I 
it's just, like it's cool for truck dwellers it gives them a little bit more to do but if you're just like uh crazy ghost hunting andy it doesn't do much you can just literally uh gr pick up the camera and just move it around it is nice some like it I can see it be like useful every now and then, but it's not like a game changer. So I think the tier two tripod is more of a novelty than it is like, oh my God, let's go big upgrade. Uh, anyway, we should place this. And now we need candles. I haven't talked about the candles at all. Candles are terrible now. <laughs> well, not, not, they're mostly terrible for the use cases that I've used them for, which is almost exclusively doing on Rio tests. The Onrio test has become a lot harder because um, the candles are are like they they have a limit now. They actually like if I light this one and you stand still, you can see that it slowly goes down. It's extremely slow, but it is slowly going down and burning out. What is this animation bug? Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. It's slowly burning out, and once it's out it's over like the candle is gone which means that if you haven't figured out if it's an unreal by that point you're gonna have to have more candles or like it's all right well i have figured out it's a yurei right now so i don't need it anymore but okay then uh i think they fixed yurei's by the way that's the second time i've seen the yurei ability actually work and i haven't seen that a single time in the last fucking full year so it's nice that they fixed yurei's finally because that's the second time in like uh, like 12 hours of playing that I've actually used the Yurei ability to figure out Yurei, which didn't happen a single time and I've been doing like like 100 hours of no evidence <laughs> uh, and I, I just haven't seen it. So yeah, very nice. What happened right there? The door was open. It did a double door touch and then it closed the door completely. That's the Yurei ability and my sanity has just been like lowered by like 14% or something uh, so that there you go. That's how it works. What's really cool about the candle uh, besides that it kind of sucks is that if the ghost blows it out you can now take a photo of it thank you for the thank you for the demonstration there you go you can now take a photo of the the candle when it blows it out which is really nice because it just it just gives you more ways to get photos and because you get so much money from doing a perfect game now any way to get more money is always welcome it keeps touching these what the fuck uh, that is an interaction. I'm actually going for perfect game here, apparently. Uh, can you give us a sign? He you throw something? I guess I should play salt. Probably be careful here. Because my sanity might be much lower than I thought! <sighs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you for the 26. So that's because of the the Yurei ability. The smudge sticks are not fixed yet, no. Now, the other thing that the candles, the candles have been nerfed. Uh, they don't give as much sanity protection anymore. If you remember, candles used to give you 100% protection against any passive sanity drain, which is just crazy. Um, but they no longer do that. I'm gonna take this photo. Hopefully that was right. And then one more photo, please. Why did it not? I swear. Oh, hi. I didn't take that photo yet. Right now. Um, I swear there's something wrong with the crucifix. Like the range on the crucifix is not the actual range. Like this is the about uh, maybe 15th time since I started playing on this update that I've had the ghost hunt in a room where I have literally like covered the entire room with crucifixes and it's just like not worked at all. I don't know if it is bugged or if something weird is going on or if there's just like a chance for the tier one crucifixes to fail or something, but it's been constantly happening. Oh, you're checking it now, let's go. Yeah, I don't know because like I know, so the thing that ghosts do is that they decide to hunt and then like uh, three seconds later, they actually hunt. So sometimes you'll get a ghost that like, I'm gonna hunt over here and it checks, can I hunt? No, there's no crucifixes, there's no candles, etc. blah, blah, blah. It walks into the room. Well, there you go, it used this one now. Uh, it walks into the room and then it hunts from on top of a crucifix. That's what happens sometimes. 
uh, because where it actually starts hunting and where it decided to hunt might not be the exact same place. Uh, I already took all the photos, right? I did all the objectives. I took all the photos. I know it's a Yure. This is a perfect game. Oh, wait. Yeah, I got the bone as well, right? Bone as well. Beautiful game. We're going to see the max payout on um, on professional mode here. Uh, anything, just making sure that I've talked about all these items before we hop into nightmare mode. Not that we're not going to talk about... Oh, no, I haven't talked about this one. Um, so the sound sensor uh, has had a pretty significant buff. Oh, God, it used both of them. But I think it's still ass. Um, now, what it does... Look, so you place it and it has a range, which it used to have. However, if you click this button right here... Faceless Epitaph, thank you for the five. If you click this button right here, you make the range bigger. Now, the mul the different tiers of, of sound sensors have multiple... Oh, wow, look at that. I've, that's the first time I've heard it. Wait a minute, I just got the Yure ability from the truck. What? Wait, that's actually really cool. <laughs> Wait, that's that's a, a beautiful showcase that I didn't even think about because that's the first time I've heard it this way. So, <laughs> okay, well, there you go. This is a pretty useful situation. Still as I'm okay. So let me let me explain myself because I've just been freaking outed as a sound sensor hater for no reason. The reason I we you the the use case for the sound sensor was mostly uh, finding the ghost room before, right? Because like they didn't do anything else. Now, I'd say they're still really bad at finding the ghost room. They're better at it for sure, but there's just better ways to find the ghost room. I think the best way you can use the sound sensor is to place one in the middle right here, one up here. Oh, wait, it's covering this. What? Something wrong with that? Or oh, is my eyes? My eyes are broken. Okay, my eyes are just broken. Um, you can uh, like know on which floor it is, for example. You can know if it's upstairs or downstairs j by just placing two sound sensors, uh, which is nice, but you can also just listen for the audio. However, as you saw right there, I think the big use case uh, is that they have now made it so that you can hear what the sound sensor picks up from the truck, which is super cool. And right there, we actually heard the URA ability, which you can even detect by audio, which is how I usually used to do it. Okay, well, that is insanely annoying. I take it back. Sound sensors are fucked. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> They're fucked. <laughs> no, just kidding. They're pretty good. I like that. I, I think that's way cooler. I think because... I've always said this, the main reason sound sensors are bad is because as soon as you find the ghost room, they have no use anymore at all. But they've, and they, they, I don't know if they took that as like, oh, so we got to fix that. But they've pretty much fixed that because now the sound sensor, besides you can use it as a way to find the ghost room, it's mostly useful when the, the hunt is happening and you have someone in the truck and they're like, oh, I hear a ghost event. Oh, I hear this. Oh, it's hunting, blah, 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 blah. Like you'll actually be able to use the audio um, during the during the hunt, which is really cool, like during the entire investigation. So yeah, big props for me on the sound sensor. The different versions are just bigger ranges. They just have larger ranges. So you can see right here, this one is range five, five and 10. This one is five, 10 and 15. But yeah, wait. Oh, the sensor shape. Wait, you can change the sensor shape on this one? Look at that. You can make it a circle, a cone, or sides. Interesting. That's actually really cool. So that's the difference between these. But anyway, now that we have shown you all the items and how they work, we haven't gotten writing yet and spear box, but hopefully we'll find that. We're going to go night play nightmare mode, and then we're also going to play some uh, insanity mode just to see how the tier one equipment holds up on the higher difficulty uh because i really wanted to make this like the deep dive video on the tier one equipment and then the next video is going to be the deep dive on the tier two equipment then after that hopefully i'll have the tier three equipment unlocked we can do a deep dive on that and then after uh, after that we're going to do some uh, maybe massive tier list of all the items um and how useful they are to upgrade because like i think for example the emf not very useful to upgrade uh crucifix insanely useful to upgrade um the salt is really useful to upgrade uh i mean you can make every the the dots projector is huge upgrade uh the writing book is a nice upgrade but some items like the paramic is also good uh like the the thermo the emf they're not really that important to upgrade um yeah and you can just do whatever you want to do i'm not i'm not writing the book on how you have to upgrade your items i'm just giving my own opinion here later bugs thank you for the five 
It's just because what's really nice about this is if you really hate writing or you really hate dots, um, now you can't choose when you unlock the upgrade, right? You're gonna get the upgrade when the devs give you the upgrade or when you level up to a certain level. Um, you found a bug with the crucifixes, so should help. Let's go. Uh, nice. Thank you, CJ. We're, we're, we're fixing it one bug at a time. Um, but if you like have to make a choice between different upgrades and you usually struggle with like getting dots you can just upgrade the dots projector right like it's just nice that way um i i mean i i understand oh i understand it's like meant to be progression right you're you're slowly unlocking everything i the one thing so far that i've noticed is that there's very little player agency like i have absolutely no influence on which items i get it is completely down to what the developers ticked into their computers because every time I unlock something, I immediately buy it. And then, uh, like, I wait until my next unlock, which I immediately buy. But I've heard from CJ that once you get to tier three, the upgrades start being so expensive that you can't just purchase them all randomly. So you actually have to make choices then, which is really cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, right now I'm level like 40. There hasn't really been any major choice or preference that I've, like I've just bought everything and I've had more than enough money to do so. Uh, but that'll hopefully change when you get into the later levels. And there will be like, you'll, you'll have to choose. Do you want to have a built-in flashlight in your head cam? Or do you want to get a super upgraded crucifix? Or do you want a... Uh, sanity pill that gives you a speed bonus like you'll actually have to make interesting choices which is cool uh, and it doesn't even take that long to get there like I'm level I can't see it here but I'm level 40 I've played for like 11 hours a lot of which was just me like being completely oh by the way Nancy Lavender me being completely enamored by all the new stuff uh, let's take this take that already uh, and we'll take the spirit box I really want to try and get spirit box yeah so the uh, I, I asked CJ if it was a bug. So the tier... The tier 2 flashlight costs 3,000. The tier 3 flashlight costs 2,500, which is really strange because you would expect the price to go up. However, the reasoning behind this is that once you unlock the head cam with a built-in flashlight, the tier 3 flashlight becomes completely obsolete and you'll just throw it in the dumpster because a built-in flashlight is just so much more convenient. Uh, so they didn't want to have you spend like $10,000 on a flashlight upgrade that you're immediately going to throw away, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And the tier 3 flashlight is a smaller jump as well. Yeah, yeah, that's for, for sure. Uh, let's try this. Hopefully we get spear box. Where are you? Are you here? Let's go. So this is the new spear box. Where are you? How old are you? Elderly victim. <laughs> Are you French? Where are you? Close to a So good. So these little known fact, I mean, at this point, it's not a little known fact anymore, but uh, these are us. These, this is me as well as a bunch of other content creators. We have sent in voice acting. The devs asked us uh, here, you have a script. Do you want to do voice? Do you want to read out these lines uh, so we can add them to the game? And pretty much everyone was like, "Yes, let's go!" So we all recorded these voice lines and they put them into the game. So yeah, if you uh, use the spirit box for long enough, you might hear a familiar voice, aka me right here, <laughs> which is very cool. And it, not only is it just like cool and fun to have your voice in the game but it's i also think it's like genuinely just way better not to flame you or anything cj for the voice acting you you have done for the previous iteration it just sounds more like what a real spirit box is because a real spirit box like it cycles through radio channels and then it like randomly locks in on a channel and gives you a clear audio output which is exactly what this does like it's it's just instead of saying like old it, it's like it's part of a sentence. Like it's it's up to interpretation what you're hearing, right? We're not done either. I'll get make it even better. I can't wait. I'm bringing in more items. Um, so yeah, very cool. Now there's no E. There should be an E Easter egg. That's for sure. I should have just uh, put in one. <laughs> I should have just sent in one voice voice line that was just me saying E E E E E. <laughs> <laughs> they, I don't think they would have passed that into the game though, but 
I can dream. <laughs> but, uh, imagine? That would have been amazing. Like, a, the, the turbo Easter egg. So, yeah, we're playing Nightmare right now, by the way, which we haven't really noticed yet. Uh, what's the big difference between Nightmare and Professional? Which I didn't start on Intermediate or something because I don't... Like, that's just... I think Professional is, like, the lowest that I can go without losing my mind. Uh, what the fuck? Um... So, the big difference is you get two evidence. Instead of getting three evidence, you get two evidence, which that's why I did a lot of stuff on professional earlier, because I wanted to show you as much of these items as possible. And if I only get two, I can only show you two evidence items per run. So, uh, as you can see, it's not freezing right here. Now, big difference on nightmare mode compared to professional besides the two evidence. I mean, it's related to the two evidence. If you know it's not freezing on professional, you can rule out freezing. However, on nightmare mode, you can't do that because it might be a ghost that has freezing, but it is hiding the freezing. Like, it might be a Moroi that is just showing ghost writing in spirit box and hides the freezing. So if you go rule out freezing, you uh, unfairly think it's not a Moroi. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind. Um, so that's a, that's a big difference. We have no... Oh. Fuck. Where is it? Was I- was that a three star? What star? It was literally like a half a second later it touched me. How was it a one star? What the fuck? It's fucked up, man. <laughs> it was literally right there, no? Okay, well, anyway. Uh, oh, it turned off the breaker. It's not a- uh, not a gin, but it can't be a gin anyway. Alright, well, anyway, let's place the writing book. Maybe we'll get writing finally. <laughs> I've been wrecked. Um... Yeah, the star system, I think they, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that they have, uh, like, made the, uh, the ghost photos way harder to get three star. Because it used to be you literally just, uh, you literally just pointed in the general direction of the ghost, and it, like, gives you a three star photo easily. Whereas right now, I think, I think it's like a... You know how this is going to be the me the most un nonsensical tangent you've ever heard, but you know how, like, that one little anecdote people say, like, did you know that if you point a plane to New York from Amsterdam, if you have a one degree, like, and you couldn't adjust your steering, and you made a one degree mistake, you end up, like, on the other side of the planet? Because at long distances, even the smallest angles of difference make a huge, are a huge deal. And I think that's kind of happening with the, the ghost photo here. Because you could usually take them at a longer distance, the small, like, little imperfections in your photo that you do have way more consequences on the quality of the photo because it's way harder to center it from a distance. I think that's the main difference. I don't know, I hope that made any sense. <laughs> But that's where my brain went immediately. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Do we have... Still no freezing. Can you give us a sign? Can you write in this? But it's still here, I think. But at least I got the ghost photo. <laughs> which I didn't even need, but whatever. Uh, oh. oh, come on. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Why are you there now? Hello? There's a tiny lady in the corner here. It's a singing ghost event again. Before. I might have to be really careful here. Oh my god. It's a banshee? It's not a banshee? Hi. What the fuck? Why are you pointing planes towards cities? Instructions unclear. Plane, plane ended up in Alaska. Not EMF 5. Uh, yeah, I, I really like the this EMF like this is like, this might be my favorite one like in terms of the way it looks This I really like the Oh, there you saw dots dots with the look at that dots with the flashlight on the ground. It is still possible uh, So yeah, there you go. We have dots uh, So it's wraith phantom yokai or dio uh, Man, I have been struggling with dots So I'm happy that on the video where I'm actually like trying to look like I'm smart and shit about the items. I'm getting more luck, so that's- Ah! Oh god. Help! 
Oh my. Oh no. Oh no, it's a Dio! I didn't. Okay, can I make it out of this situation alive? No! It was a Dio! <laughs> I died to a Dio! How can I do that? I've never done that in my life, dude. I suck. Oh shit. This is like worse than dying to a shade. <laughs> Oh, that's just the skill issue right there. <laughs> no! And a one-star ghost photo! Oh, man. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> at least I got it. So, yeah, uh, Dio's, uh, you probably know, the gimmick is that they, you can't hide against them. So, if you try, uh, you might corner yourself like what I just did, and then you might die. I think I could have made it out of that situation if I... If I would have looped it slightly, like if I would have stayed at the fridge longer, would have gotten it to come over there, and then would have gone to the corner, and then I think I could have gotten around, but that was just a misplay. Anyway, that is not this. I don't think that was any had anything to do with the with the tier one items. That was just me being being a bit of a dummy. Uh, but we're gonna do two rounds on nightmare, two rounds on uh, insanity. So let's just do another round on nightmare. Uh, even though I died that one, but that's just a uh, Dio, right? I really like Dio's though. <laughs> uh, so also information about Dio's is that they have four spare box. So if you're playing on nightmare mode and you don't get spare box, like let's say you get this, you get ghost. Oh God, it's frozen. You get ghost riding and dots. I think the only options in those situations is Dio and Thay. If you get this combination, you have ghost riding and dots for whatever reason, uh, you know, it cannot be a, a Dio because Dio will always have spare box. But anyway. Um, what do we have? We have Barbara Bailey, uh, Crucifix, Ghost Event, and EMF Reader. Let's keep going. Uh, I didn't, I don't think I forgot anything. I'm just like looking at the items, making sure that I've said everything, uh, about the different items. Like using them. And I really, it, it feels like a new game. Like it feels, I, I like the tier ones way more than the tier twos, obviously, because the tier ones are new. And the tier twos are basically the items we already know, but slightly upgraded, which is like, like obviously they shouldn't just remove the items that were in the game before. Like that makes no sense. Um, but I just like the new ones because they're new <laughs> and they're fun to use. Uh, will console have crossplay? Yes, there's a crossplay setting over here uh, that you can turn on or off. But uh, the console update or the console release hasn't happened yet. It will be at the end of this month somewhere. I don't know when exactly. Oh, touch the door. Now, we haven't had snow yet, sadly, because snow is like my favorite weather. Uh, it's over here somewhere. Oh, it's this door. One of these. Okay, let's grab the UV. Well, I've unlocked the tier three five star. We're going to be using the tier three. We're just doing the tier one, uh, like tier one items explained right now and then in the next one we'll do tier two and then in the tier three is gonna be completely wild like some of the tier three items are fucking insane uh how what level are we now we're still level 41 or something right uh we don't have fingies okie dokie then just drop this here keep this at the door where are you are you here? Are you close? Beat the title. <laughs> the mods are updating the level. Thank you, mods. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? I don't know if it's in this room. It just touched that. We're gonna... Let's just bring in all the items. You can always do that. It's not... While you're waiting for the temperature to go down. Uh, any object... I already did an objective. EMF. Okay, easy. Crucifix and Ghost Event. And both of these. I'm actually gonna take... Nah, let's take two right. Well, I always need this, actually. Never mind. Um, let's see. Any Orbos? Are you here? Hi. This should be a tier three photo, right? Holy fuck! This is like insane, dude! How is that not a tier three, man? Good god! <laughs> is that because of range or. 
I don't know. Like, why is that not a tier three? I just genuinely don't get it. Is it? I, it must be range, right? I guess I, because I'm aiming it at the middle. I guess you really have to get it. I say it has nothing to do with the. It is range. Okay, man. Because the problem with ghost events is that uh, when you get too close, they disappear. So I have trained myself to stay at a range like around this, so that I don't get too close and make them disappear. So that's why I've been like keeping this range. Uh, but I guess you gotta just, we gotta relearn that. You gotta relearn a different range that you can use for the ghost photo. But anyway, it's not a phantom and we gotta go, we gotta, we got a ghost photo, which is, we also got the ghost event, of course. Is it cold here? It is not cold here. So this is probably not the ghost room. So let's try how good this thing is. Is it going down here? It's going up. So it's not that room. Check the living room. Um, living room is going down. No. Yes. It's actually like the exact same. And then here it's going up. So that's not it. It's just the bathroom or something. Going up here. It's not that room. Continuing to go up. And then as soon as I step in here, it goes down. Alexander, thank you for the five. So I think it's just like in one of these rooms or maybe like the, uh, did it just throw something over here? Yes, it did. Wait a minute. It's just a, some banshee bullshit. Yep. It's going down and you can see that there's a different speed at which the thing goes down as well, which I think is really neat. Like here, you can see that it was like, this is totally the ghost room besides just the cold breath that happened there. But you, you saw how much faster the temperature was adjusting compared to over there. Like the trajectory at which the little thing moves tells you so much about, uh, like it tells you so much immediately. It's so useful. Really like it. Oh, Orbeez, it's the smallest screen of all time, but I see them. And then try this here. You can actually put it right over there. Now nah, that should cover most of the room. Okay. And then we already checked fingies, photo cam. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? What's your name? Barbara, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? We have anything? We have, oh! Well, we have dots. <laughs> Ghost orbs and dots. Banshee, Yurei, Yokai, Raichu, Thay. Okay. Man, I've been actually the dots whisperer today. Yesterday, I sucked. Like, I was so bad at finding dots. Today is the day for dots, man. Let's go. Can you give me a sign? I guess it doesn't matter. I really, uh, I can't take the ghost photo anymore because I already took a two-star ghost photo like a dummy. Okay, what are we going to do? Bar it's probably just a banshee, right? The roaming was actually like wild and it was doing, was it the one singing ghost events? Let's use the paramic. I haven't had a banshee scream yet on this, uh, on this update. Banshee scream time. I don't know what my sanity is. Crucifix, all right, we'll bring two of those. It's actually been kind of fun to do like the no smudge challenge. Basically every game, because they're not really working as intended right now, every game I've been like, kind of avoiding relying on them, which has been somewhat of a neat little, like self-imposed, I mean, not really self-imposed, more like dev-imposed challenges. What the hell? Uh, is that this? It was this? Uh, where's my cam? Hey! There are two photos! Man, that's so slow. Ah! I wish I could try this. I wish I could take another photo. I'm gonna try that one. Was that in time? That was in time. Hi there. Should have brought salt. Okay. Well, it's singing. Let's try this. Okay, so let's stand over here and see if it comes to us. Oh, also, you can test the range of the paramic. Right here, it's picking up the lamp in the living room. That's kind of wild, right? The range on this is pretty good. And then over here, at this point, it's picking it. Like it's a, yeah, it's a 20 meter cone. That's kind of sick. I thought the, I thought the 20 meters meant in front of you, not the cone, but 
like 20 meters in the distance because like you can't just give one value to like a cone needs two uh two parameters to define it you need the length and the width and we only have the length i'm assuming so it's hard but you can test the width by just pointing it around so it's not that big of a deal okay we're getting lots of whispers that's two whispers already cones are the same shape for all three okay i see i mean makes sense two whispers two more give me the scream i want to hear the new the maybe some like the the clearer scream you're not coming over here though to scream any different no but there is new uh ghost event sounds i've already heard people that have like have you heard the new banshee scream and i'm like and then they show me and it's just the new like ghost event sound effects and i'm like my brother in christ it's literally just like the new sounds of the ghost event it's not a scream it's it's, it's different <laughs> <laughs> not a gin that's true oh god Ah, the door, the very muffled door sounds. Okay, well, that was very Banshee-like of you. Hey. Um. Hey, Raichu. Raichu is going to be easy. Yeah, I think all of these are easy. We just need the screen. I feel like it's got to be a Banshee, right? This is a pretty tough combination of ghosts here. Um, I want to do no evidence as well. Trying no evidence with the uh, tier 1, 2, and 3 items. I don't think there is that significant of a difference. Um. Because obviously you can't use the evidence items very much. Come on. Didn't you wear that shirt yesterday? Oh yeah, I forgot that once you wear a shirt, you have to burn it in hell. You must be going to the clothing store like every week. <laughs> What's my brain? This is 1.7, I think. Can you scream? I don't know if it's there anymore. Let's. Oh! I love the. The like. It's just a moment. It's like an intimate moment between you and the ghost. <laughs> I get a note. You don't hear anything besides the, the singing. Like. I think immersion. Like. They have. Uh, so. I think Paramike used to be complete ass not fun at all then they made it like really good still kind of boring but then they added whispers which made it fun and because of the like paramic bug it was also pretty good now with this update they have taken usefulness and shoved it in the toilet but they have taken fun and shot it into the stratosphere. I think the paramic in terms of usefulness has gone down, but in terms of fun has gone like like freaking out of the, out of this world. Like it's super fun to use now. <laughs> it's not very good, but it's really fun. <laughs> Which I think is almost more important with this item anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh! Ah! I'm dying. Oh, I'm so lucky that was a hiding spot. I literally haven't even tried. Yeah, the tier 3 I haven't seen yet, but we're talking about the tier 1 items in this uh, particular situation, right? What's well, not a right you? Thunderino, thank you for the sub. I don't know, like, I need to get used to the new audio. Like, I don't know if it's in the hallway right now or if it's, like, in the garage. Like, it just sounds the same to me. Like, it's just all loud. Okay, well, it's definitely not this guy, nor this... I mean, maybe it could be that guy. Let's try to use a smudge stick, even though it's probably not going to work. Uh, do we need... We didn't get the crucifix again, right? Yeah, I mean, that probably was because it wasn't in the room. Um, if you hear footsteps, it's near you. True. How is it not doing... Uh, why is it not doing the scream though? Because we had two whispers, right? We put two crucifixes here. Is it still cold in this room? It's not cold enough. It's going up in this room. Up in this room. 
Up here. Is it living room? I think it's just still the dining. It's just not here very often. Yeah, it's still just dining. Okay. Um, grab the pair mic. Do not kill me. Do not murder me. I think it's because it's a banshee. We could try. We could try placing a crucifix like in the middle of this room. And then like on top of us. Like right here. And then use this. All right. Scream. Just, uh, we also, and then we can test the yokai. Come on. Oh. <laughs> but that's cool, though, that the sound sensor, uh, has the, like, replay feature in the truck. I had no idea. I didn't see that at all yesterday, but I also didn't use it enough. All right, ghost, can you do, just hunt me. Just do, like, anything at all. Did I use the crucifix? It did not use the crucifix. Come on. It's, I feel like it should... Oh, here we go. It's in the basement. Are you kidding me? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Wait. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Doing the yokai test is so hard on this update because it sounds so close. Like... It is it a yoga? Fuck me, man. Can I just... Like, I don't know if it is. Because it sounded really close there and it wasn't coming to me. And my flashlight was blinking. But I don't know if that's because it was actually close. Or because it was just, like, louder. Uh, oh, we turned that light off. Was it a ghost event, probably? Yep, there it comes. Let's take out this guy and just break it. Do we have more time to test? I'm not quite sure. We're gonna find out here, though. Uh, okay. Well, the, I have, don't have to use it. Here we go. So it's gonna come up the stairs, and then I'm immediately gonna attract it, right? Come on. Come on! It's stuck in the basement. Are you fucking with me? This is stupid. Hello? Hello, 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 hello? 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 Okay, it's just a yokai then. Okay. Uh, surprising. I really thought that was a banshee, but all right. <laughs> I guess it's just a yokai. That's why you got to do the test. You can't just rely on behavior all the time. Uh, the crucifix is just not going to happen. Uh, that's fine though. All right, we've actually completed a nightmare mission. This is... I don't think that was necessarily... Like, this is... You were gonna have to play with the Tier 2 and Tier 3 items on Nightmare Mode to compare it. This felt pretty average. Like, I, it was just a... It was just a little bit of a tricky ghost to figure out. Like, it just took a few hunts. There you go. But we figured it out. Uh, we're gonna level up here and unlock something, right? Unlock the lighter! Or the igniter, sorry. Which, let's see. What is the big difference between that? Because I don't... 500 i don't think there's a big difference given the price it's like the cheapest shit i've ever seen <laughs> a gas lighter wait what a gas lighter it provides a little more light than matches and lasts longer you can see the liquid inside it drain as you use it make sure you have enough time left when you're in a pinch okay so it's just a fight i mean so it's five minutes instead of 10 seconds for 10 times. So yeah, I, I I don't think there is much, like you never really need to use a light source more than 10 times. And I really like how this one looks, but still that is that is like a slight improvement, but they made it really cheap because it wasn't very impactful. Okay, now for the ultimate challenge, obviously not the actual ultimate challenge. We're gonna be doing some apocalypse mode as well. Don't worry about it. But for now, I just wanna do the regular difficulties. We're gonna do insanity mode. So let's do, uh, well, I, did I change this? I need to put this back. Let's do ins because we're gonna do the tier twos in the next one. We're gonna do insanity mode with just tier one items and see. Let's do Edgefield as well because Edgefield is a can be a pretty tricky map sometimes. Um, let's see, because you're not getting much support, right? I think the main di like, if I were to upgrade something for like insanity, I'd really like better crucifixes. I think the crucifixes being this bad 
can really get you killed sometimes. The smudge sticks are just bugged, but that would also be a nice improvement. The sanity pills, not so much. Uh, I really think the crucifix is like the main upgrade I would want for this. Um, as well as the salt, like being able to get salt easier. Uh, and a flashlight, obviously, because the flashlight is really bad. <laughs> Like a tier 2 or tier 3 flashlight would go pretty hard right now. Um, hello there, ghost. No breaker. Alright. And also, um, maybe... Because the thing is, when you're playing on like professional or something, you don't really have to worry about roaming very much, but on nightmare mode and in, in, in insanity mode specifically, you're gonna have to worry about roaming way more. So then a upgraded thermo might be, uh, I mean, I still don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal because like the, the level one thermo is already pretty good, but it might be slightly more effective in like extreme roaming situations. Oh God, wait until it's close. If I took a photo earlier than that, it would have been a fucking one star. Like, it's so annoying. Like, you can't... Like, you either get, like, a two star or you just get scanned out of your ghost photo entirely. Like, it's so hard to get a three star now. Because <laughs> I had to wait. Like, if I took it any earlier, it would have been a low star. Uh, and now it's just a complete nothing photo. But it's fine. But at least we know where the ghost is. Yeah, I, I still need to get better at it. Maybe, like... Maybe you're just gonna have to, like... I guess just a ghost photo is like way harder now and that's just the way it is. All right. Um, but man, that is that is rough. Because there were already situations where you'd have to avoid taking the photo because you would get a two star, but there's just way more of those situations now. You turn on the sink somewhere, didn't you? I swear I just heard the sink, but now it's gone. Just me. In this room? Um, I guess not. Maybe, maybe it was downstairs? Yeah, what? What are you doing upstairs then? Ah! You gotta be fucking with me. You gotta be fucking pulling my pizzle over here. Excuse me? <laughs> What a scam! <laughs> what a fucking scam, dude! <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> maybe Dots- maybe Dots ghost photos are the answer, who knows? Cause that is, like, twice where I waited until the absolute earliest moment, I felt like I could take a three star, and as soon as I clicked it disappeared. Like, that's kinda BS. Okay, it's in this hallway. But it is what it is. Is that there? Okay, my sanity is gonna be fucked. I need to take a sanity pill. A better camera. The cameras do nothing about the quality of the photos, right? Or... Like, is, is taking a... Wait, do the ranges actually get improved with the different tiers? Because that would make a big difference. I didn't notice that when I was using them. But if it does, that's a big... That would make sense. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about that. Maybe? Ranges do not get improved. They should! <laughs> they should be improved. In my opinion. Because that would make a... Like, what even is the benefit of the t of the level 3... Uh... I didn't even cleanse it! Are you not in this room? Why is it cold breath then? I'm being freaking rolled over here. What the hell? The fuck? Alright, um... Grab another one. And then what do I even do to find this ghost? Incense, motion sensor, motion sensor. Writing book. It's super... It was upstairs, downstairs. All over the place. Um... Alright. Thermo. This is where the thermo could... Like, this might be a good example of insane... Like, the, the, the crazy insanity roaming you have to deal with sometimes. Wait, it is just up here. What were you doing downstairs then? Wait, what? Okay. Wait a minute. 
Is it? You suck. Try the smudge upstairs. It was turning on the dirty water in the kitchen. Excuse me. Did that smudge it? Okay, so it is upstairs here. That is weird. Also, holy matches back. That is one of the reasons you never want to upgrade. Because the holy match is very important. I use level one crucifix. Uh, ten times the viewers did not understand the asylum. Or the asylum. <laughs> the assignment. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> I've, I could make a video ten times the viewers did not understand the asylum. That would, <laughs> that would be very accurate as well. <laughs> okay. Probably rule out Gorio. I mean, you think that, but I've had so many Gorios, I don't think I can ever rule out a Gorio anymore. All right. Hello, friend. How are you doing? It is exactly like 0 0.1. Oh, it did the motion sensor. Man, that is kind of sneaky. Yeah, there you go. Motion sensor. So it is up here. Let's try this. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? I touch the door. Uh, do I have a UV? UV? Yes, sir. Yes. No EMF. Feels bad, man. Beepity, beepity, beep. Or no EMF and no UV. Uh, it's probably gonna be dots. Is it just gonna be a Goryeo? Oh, no. Check this. Please no. Please no. I've have I have suffered enough yesterday. No more. Oh, I threw something. Big throw. Is it this? It was. EMF three. All right. Can you give me that? So it's definitely over there. So I'm gonna point it like straight this way. And then if it steps on the motion sensor, where am I even gonna run to if it hunts now? I'm gonna be die, be, be dying. Could it be a Gorio if it moved? Gorios can roam, they cannot change ghost room. Which is the main. Uh, like it might've just roamed there and not actually ever changed ghost room. Cause it's, it started up here, right? And then it did something downstairs. So it might also just be like, I don't know, a roamy ghost. What was that? Oh. Please. EMF? Never EMF. What is going on, man? Oh, phone. Hi there. Uh, that, that looked really high there, but I think that was just... I don't think that was very high. Wait, it went up to five there for a second. What? But it didn't go like... Yeah, here. What? Maybe it is five. That's the first time I've, it's been unclear. Like I've I've been a little confused about EMF five. Wait, yeah, there. You go. How did it go up to f level four there with a window touch? That shouldn't be possible, right? It has to pass. It has to pass five. Yeah. Maybe it's not EMF five. I mean, I still expect it to be EMF five later. Oh, touch door again. That's not very high. Okay, this ghost is gonna blast me here any moment. All right, spirit box again. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you grandma? Oh, look at it. The range on it is so bad. <sighs> Um, wait, it's a Dio again. <laughs> and on your right, you can see a ghost in its natural habitat. Being loud as fuck. Holy, dude. 
<laughs> actually like I need to send the this the Phasmo devs my hearing bill from playing this game for the next like several years. Are you fucking joking? Okay, it wasn't EMF, it's just the Dio. Good god. <laughs> Oh fuck. Okay, well that was an insanity run completed in like the... Uh, so you only get one evidence on insanity, which I was expecting was going to be EMF or dots there, but it ended up being spirit box, which really shows you how bad the level one spirit box is. I think it is one where you expect, like, it feels like you have all the power, even with a, a, a tier one, but from my experience using the tier two, it is so much more reliable. Also, but look at the income though. Holy moly. Do I level up here? Like that is a, that's a big incentive. Cause I, I mean, I guess I did all the objectives there, but that's a big incentive to play on insanity mode over um, the lower difficulties for just the sheer higher reward. Uh, so it, it's a give and take always, right? And no evidence is even higher. Let's go. We haven't gone to Grafton. We haven't even gone to any farmhouse. Well, I, no, I don't think we did. Um, so yeah, the, it's just, it has a bigger range and it is just far more reliable. Like, it, if you're in the same room with the ghost, it is way easier to get the spear box to give you a response. But I'm pretty sure that they're gonna fix the audio of the ghost. Like, it's obviously not supposed to be this loud. Like, I know they had to rework, rework the audio system, but... Like, this, this feels like a fucking, like, attack on my senses like it is just beyond reasonable <laughs> okay so for these doors you have to take the photo over in the top right uh for other doors it's different also there was a breaker right here hi there it goes that was really quick like finding the ghost room i can't really tell you like i i don't know I don't, I feel like, because I used to be bad at it, obviously, but I feel like finding the ghost room has just become easier. And not only because I've gotten better at the game, but also just with every, like, fix of interactions, with every, like, additional update, they've, make, they've made it slightly easier. Like, I'm pretty sure that if someone would be starting now without any, like, hints and tips from from youtube videos it would still be easier because like i just haven't had any problem finding the ghost room for a long time like sometimes you'll have like like especially on large maps there it can be a problem uh for sure but like sometimes you'll have a ghost where they're just extremely quiet and you don't get um is it going up it is actually going up and you don't get um uh, like any interactions for a long time but it is really rare. Like almost all the time you walk into the house and you immediately hear some sound somewhere in the distance and boom, you found the ghost room. I mean, you didn't find the ghost room because in this situation, you can also see that wasn't the ghost room. It was just nearby, which means it could be in the living room or it could be in the entrance. It could be dining. You just got to check. Not here. It's still going up in this room. I feel like it would be kitchen, but... It's going down now, but very slowly. Not very fast. Hello? We'll just grab more items. There's no rush. Mystic Raven, thank you for the prime. Level 1 Thermo is so painful to use. I don't agree. I think it's pretty good. Like, I've... Maybe you haven't had the tier 2 yet, but I was using the tier 2, and it was honestly more annoying. Just because you have to hold the button down for like four seconds before it gives you any value. It's just frustrating. Like it might still overall be better. But it doesn't, it doesn't, it isn't very fun to use. That's all. Is it going to get colder here? Where? Are okay, so it's hotter here. It's like a solid 12 degrees here. This might just be because the outside temperature is just hot. So it's take yeah it's I think it's just taken a while for the ghost to make the temperature lower here, but this is a good example of the unless it was like a wraith or like this might I literally was just talking about how finding the ghost room is usually easy that is if you're not dealing with a phantom a wraith a banshee a fucking shade uh 
some crazy ass twins that's just doing anything anywhere a mimic that's doing any of those stuff like there's a lot of situations ghost specific situations but like i don't really consider that as being like a situation where it's hard to find the ghost room because even though it was hard to find the ghost room it gives you so it gives you so much information about what ghost you're ultimately dealing with that it's kind of like it, it it's kind of worth it in a way because it immediately tells you oh i'm probably dealing with a wraith oh Oh, I think it's here. <laughs> I'm probably dealing with a wraith. Oh. That was all the way up to level... F I guess it's just not... Man, that's sneaky. I think it really, like... I think that's the takeaway here for the EMF, uh, EMF reader, the tier one. It has to be above five for it to be five. If it goes to five, it doesn't count as five. It has to go above five. I think that's... That's the takeaway here. Okay, so it is actually here then. I mean, that makes sense. Where are you? Are you here? So using this after ghost events and stuff is going to be way more important then, huh? I should place the... Where's my dots? Dots, dots, dots. Do I even have a dots? Oh, there. Ah! Hey, boss, buddy. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? We're behind us. Ah! I opened my journal to fill in the thing! <laughs> Fucking perfect attack. Oh god. What's happening here? Is the poltergeist? Wait, is it invisible? Oh, oh fuck. What the hell? I think there's a poltergeist. It fucking cleaned the table, dude. Wait, let's try again. So it was spirit box. Uh, we need to set up a poltergeist. I think it's just a pulty. That was that, that the, the, the like absolute mess it's left behind is very polter like. You can just, if you crouch loop around this thing, it won't get any faster. That's why I love this particular kitchen island. This is going to be awesome. So yeah, the, what, what insanity mode tests? Like, the thing... It's kind of funny how, it, how that works. I feel like professional, amateur, prof amateur, intermediate, professional... It's way better for those difficulties to have higher tier equipment than for insanity. For insanity, it does help having more precise equipment, obviously. Like, it, it does make a difference to be able to, like, ha get spear box easier, etc., etc. However, it's only such a small part of the overall job, right? Because on insanity mode, you're much more, like, Insanity mode is much more skill intensive. Like it's much more, can you use the knowledge you have and can you avoid dying in the process? Like it is way more reliant on your own knowledge and skill than it is on the particular items that you bring to the game. Um, which I think makes it less reliant on tier, oh my God, you piece. Tier one, two or three equipment. But we're gonna have to pull that in practice. Okay, here it comes. Let's see. Are you gonna make a tornado here? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> I love Poltergeist, dude. Holy. <laughs> he do be throwing. What the fuck? <laughs> dude, look at that. You saw how many items I put on this thing? They're all gone. <laughs> the whole thing is empty. What the fuck? Who needs to clean their house when you got a poltergeist? Look, he made the table so nice. I mean, he made them mess around the entire place, but damn. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Fucking tornado over here. So yeah, ironically enough, the higher the difficulty, the less it matters uh, which equipment you bring to the, to the match. Uh, let's just get out of here. Yeah, overall... Um, I like the tier one equipment. I think the ones that could really use upgrades is the crucifix in particular. 
uh because i think the crucifix is like the big one that i see that like i am constantly like oh fuck i can only use it once that's so annoying oh fuck it has such a small range that's so annoying uh what are we gonna get we gotta get the level two incense let's go okay nice so that now what is the difference between that let's see because this was also a big deal three and a half thousand we can still unlock it just uh okay a large bundle of white sage, uh, much more sage has been used to create this incense bundle, allowing for a longer burn time, burn time keeping you safer for longer during attacks. Additionally, it will slow the movement of the ghost for part of its effect duration. That's really good. It's still, wait, oh, it also has an increased duration by one second and it has an increased range, which doesn't really matter because the ghost will always walk into the thing, right? Uh, and then this one with a much larger range, seven meters and a longer burn time, you can, Something goes much more safely when attacked. When the ghost is initially repelled, it will be stunned, halting its movement. That is huge. Like this is, these two are countering the main thing that gets you killed when using smudge sticks, which is that the ghost like follows your exact path, even while it's not actively targeting you and then you die anyway. So that's, that's a huge improvement. Um, okay. But anyway, as I said, let, let's uh, let's talk, let's do one final uh, review of the items uh, one by one. Dots projector, I think, is a big upgrade. Getting the tier two for this one, uh, or tier three for that matter, I don't have it yet, uh, gives you a much more like it gives you an experience I'm much more used to, where you just set it and forget it. You place it in the ghost room, and eventually you see dots. With this one, it's a much more active thing, and it's also like such it's a much smaller range. So you either have to bring two of them, or you have to like have a friend that's holding it constantly, and it's just a little bit more tricky, especially if you try and get evidence from the truck. If you're dealing with a Gorio with tier one dots, which I had to do eight times yesterday, I didn't see dots a single time. And I was, it wasn't like I wasn't looking for it. I placed my dots, I placed my cam, and then I would look for dots for like five minutes and I would see nothing. So I was just having a terrible time. And I haven't even seen dots from the truck ever, I think, on this new update. So I'm not quite sure if it is, it's probably just a skill issue, but it might be something that's just a little rare right now. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the EMF, it's a, it's an improvement but it's not that big of a of an improvement. It's still really clear with this one that it's EMF5 uh, because the use case is not very different, right? This one is easier to tell if it's EMF5 from a distance, but that's not that important because most of the time you hear something and then you move the dots or the EMF over there and then you, um, you get EMF that way. And it's still really obvious when it is, but yeah, it's slightly, slightly less effective. Uh, this one, I think it's just like, like, look at this. So... It has a bigger range and it just has higher interaction rates. So it is just clearly better in like the most simple way. Like it is just objectively better. So obviously you want to upgrade these when you get them. Uh, but it's like, it's not a complete game changer. It just means that you ha don't have to wait as long. Like it doesn't change the use. Uh, it just changed how, how effective it is. And then for this one, I think it has been like, I think here, as you can see, this range right here, the three meter range. Uh, and the response rate being low actually has a massive, uh, massive impact on how fast you get spirit box. I would say that getting the tier two here is actually like really good, like really useful. The range improvements plus the increased response rate just means you get it almost instantly uh, compared to like being able to miss it like really easily. Uh, now for the thermo, as I said, I think it's one of the only ones where it could be argued that the tier one has like maybe not like it's not objectively better, obviously, than the tier two or the tier three, but it just has, in my opinion, similar uses and it's similarly effective, but it has a few like situations where it feels better because it has like it shows you an instant value right away as soon as you pick it up. It shows you like if it goes up or down immediately without having to hold a button. Um, yes, this one is super fast, so it might not even matter. But yeah, and if you just compare tier one and tier two, I'd say tier two is or tier one is already pretty damn good. Uh, glow stick. I honestly think glow stick is even more so than the t than the than the uh, thermo is actually objectively better than the uv light i think it is there is this is just a worse item than the glow stick in literally every single way because um it has maybe like 
this UV charge time is like the only thing that looks that, that looks to have improved, right? Because the UV charge time is 10 and here it's five. However, you can just throw it next to the 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 fingerprint and you don't even need the UV charge time. But because well, what would happen constantly with this one is that I would shine it at a fingerprint and then I would toggle over to my uh, photo cam and the fingerprint would instantly disappear. And I was like, what? Where is it? And then I had to charge it again because I didn't do it for long enough. And then I was like, it was constantly like, like I would, I would mess this up all the time. This one is so easy. And as far as I've seen, it has infinite uses. You can just keep shaking it over and over again to make it be to make it work again. So I really like... Tier two, you should easily skip. The tier three, I can't comment on yet because I haven't reached it, but it is, in my opinion, pretty much a no-brainer that the tier one glow stick is just better than the tier two. And similarly, it's also easy to find because it's always like glowing on the floor. Like it's just, it's just really good. Um, and then when it comes to video cam, it's one of those like pretty much objective improvements. It's a bigger screen. It's a easier. It's a higher quality. Like it's just it's just little bits better in every way. The only thing I like about this one is that it has green night vision compared to the white night vision. That's all. And they don't boost right shoes and stuff like that. Yeah, they're not even electronics. Like it's literally just better in every way. Uh, and then when it comes to the crucifix, I already gave my opinion. I think the crucifix is just it's like similar to the writing book and stuff it's just an overall better item a particular this uses one becomes uses two like that is a big improvement as well as the range this is the range we used to have before the update so this is just a straight up bigger one i think the one thing you can say about this one is that it is slightly too big for if you want to do a demon test if you want to do a demon test it is almost impossible to distinguish between a ghost that is just a regular ghost and a demon because these are so big that every ghost will be stopped by them regardless if they're a demon uh oh tier three should be five meters not four okay so this is a typo here uh so it's even bigger and prevent a cursed hunt is super cool there as well okay and then when it comes to lighters let's see i haven't unlocked these yet the three candles instead of one the light provided is much stronger and lasts longer the firelight doesn't need to be held to gain its effects that's really nice so you can place it and stand nearby and still receive the sanity benefits that's something we've never seen with candles i mean it's been bugged a few times with candles but that is really good and it prevents your sanity from draining by 50. so this you could place in the ghost room and for five minutes you have a 50 percent reduction of sanity although you probably just turn the lights on anyway but that's pretty nice that's pretty nice that that's like i don't really use these items for that necessarily like i don't really use it as a sanity prevention item i only really use them for uh on rio tests so this in duration increase is already nice and then this one uh, oh it's in infinite look at this uh so the th tier three has a range of two meters which is the same a sanity prevention of 66 is the max look at that and then it's waterproof <laughs> so oh yeah so you can use it during the rain i see uh, and you can place it and it's the same thing. Okay, interesting. And it's just slightly stronger. So that doesn't seem like that much of an improvement. Oh no, actually, never mind. It's infinite. Never mind. That's a huge improvement. <laughs> Wait, that's super useful. That brings back the old candle. I, I missed that part. Okay. Uh, and then next one. These, I have all three already. I can say I am a big fan of the tier three. I know it's cheap and it's supposedly not a very big upgrade, but I'd say... I have played Phasmo for so long with this particular flashlight. Like, seeing this one, it is such a wide range. Like, because the I, I run the game at 90 FOV, which means that uh it's not it's not made meant for 90 fov the game is meant for 60 fov, but it's just too zoomed in for me, and I get like motion sick if I do that. Um so I play it at 90 FOV. Uh, and for that, one downside has always been that the flashlight, the strong flashlight, only covers a small circle of the overall screen. However, with this upgrade, it co covers like twice as much. Like it is massively improved, which particular for 90 FOV players feels way better. Like you just have a nice circle in the middle of your screen that's lit up rather than this like small little point light, which is just really nice. Um, and then we're, keep, we're moving on. These ones are just insane. That's why they're so late to unlock. Like, be, having a built-in flashlight, absolutely wild. Having a built-in night vision, borderline OP and, like, <laughs> completely game-changing. Like, that's crazy. I mean, that's why you get it at level 82. Because this means that you basically have an additional inventory slot. Like, being able to carry three items 
every time never having to drop your flashlight and having to worry about having it during a hunt like you're just it's just amazing like i can't wait to unlock this one uh the lighter as we said not impactful at all uh especially because it's still unconsumable right like this is 10 minutes it's waterproof oh it's a waterproof lighter that's kind of cool um and then uh, but it's still a consumable right which doesn't really matter and it looks cool i guess it looks really cool right but you i have never ran like if they nerf this to be like two uses only yeah like yeah then it will be a this would be better but i don't almost never use i've not a single time emptied this unless the only time i did that was when i was just like testing how many times you could use it so there's not a reason to upgrade that uh but it's only 500 dollars anyway as we already looked at this this is a massive improvement being able to slow and stun the ghost is super useful um the, the motion sensor what does the what do these do i haven't even looked at these um with two different modes a longer range and sound the sensor is perfect for per paranormal tracking you can toggle the laser shape by interacting with the thing when it has been placed uh sensor shape so it has line and cone interesting i think the line is always just better because most of the time you use the motion sensor to figure out if it's a wraith or not uh, and then we have light indicator audio indicator which is nice so yeah it is still electronic so it is i don't think this is a big improvement at all besides the audio it just brings back the original motion sensor basically and now what is this one a security camera this was that was stripped apart and rebuilt from the ground up granting it vision into the paranormal realm placing this motion sensor camera on the floor near to ghost activity wait near to ghost activity you may find when activated it will turn and flash a bright light whenever a ghost enters or exits its detection range sensor is in it's in a circle okay it's scanning it's a light indicator audio indicator okay so this is a situation where like this is a clear situation which they said they will never do this which is a bit of a shame where bringing multiple different tiers would be extremely useful because this is useful because it has like it's basically telling you if you can um if the ghost is in the ghost room like if you place the motion sensor in the middle of the room and it it's also a hundred dollars by the way this is expensive as hell um like if you place it in the middle it will like tell you constantly like the ghost is still here the ghost is still here wait what own is basically two lines next to each other so you can see the direction of travel Tier 3 is straight up better. Uh, I disagree because the use case for motion sensor, basically 99.9% .9 of the time, is you place it on the wall, you place salt in front of it in a line, and then if you see the motion sensor go off but it doesn't step in the salt, you know it's a wraith. That's like really the only way I use a motion sensor. This is easier for the motion sensor objective for sure, but not for a situation like that. You can, you can still do that with the Tier 3, but like not with 100% accuracy, right? <laughs> Because it is a circle like you have to place so much salt for that to work like i i think the line is just better for that you'd place it on the edge of the salt but well, i just have to test I, I mean if you say so i just see don't see the circle like the circle is just gonna have too much range to cover from like i i don't know i haven't used it you have used it so i'm gonna just trust you on that one uh but yeah it would be nice to bring two here because this one because you want a really short range to be able to test for salt. So just being able to place this on a wall, placing two salt in front of it, uh, and then using this one to detect if it's in the ghost room, that would be nice. I would like a combo of, of the tier one and the tier three for this one. Uh, but regardless, let's move on. Uh, Paramike, as I said, tier one, it's fun to use, but completely useless for finding the ghost room on small maps. I don't know if it's useful on big maps. Don't really see it being useful on big maps, but I haven't tested it much, so I can't really say. Uh, but especially on small maps, it used to be really like the reason why I'm saying it because this and even this one is not very good. It's it's definitely better because it's like the old one where you can see the values rather than just hearing them. Um, but it's not it's it's, it's like I think the, they have just made it too realistic. To, no, not too realistic. But the thing that makes the pair mic bad now is that it mutes all other audio because the main problem with the pair mic, in my opinion, is that it tells you stuff you can already hear anyway. And now it also muffles stuff that you could usually hear if you weren't using the paramic. So in order to find, like, finding the ghost room is just harder when you have a paramic because you can't hear, uh, like, stuff that is off to the side. That's all. 
uh so yeah it's really fun 10 out of 10 fun rating 2 out of 10 usefulness rating especially on small maps uh photo cam it's not that big of a deal if the camera sc the, the the screen on this one this is the one you're used to if you play before the screen on this one is nice uh but i i've kind of started to love the the polaroid camera uh it's a little harder to align your photos with the polaroid because you don't have a screen so that's true uh what is this one even this top tier range camera provides the lowest delay between photos allowing quick evidence gathering additionally it's been modified to be less susceptible to paranormal entities causing interference with the screen during manifestations the time between photos is low i hope it's still somewhat there because if you otherwise you could click twice and accidentally take two photos and ruin it that way uh this space screen paranormal interfer interfer interference medium and electronic now uh, the cameras will soon make more sense in the new system. Well, also, once you guys make it possible to delete zero star photos, I think the tier one is like almost indistinguishable from tier two and three. Because the problem sometimes with this one is that you're a little slow. So then you could miss the range of a photo and you might take a zero star. But once you can delete those, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, so yeah, a minor improvement. But anyway, you'll get more money for better quality photos. Nice. Um, Nice, nice. Oh, wait, you'll get more money for just taking it with a different photo cam? Okay. Well, I mean, then they're obviously better. So it just depends on the system. Like, once they roll out that system, it's just an objective improvement then. Okay. So they... <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so that's obvious then. Uh, salt. I can't wait to unlock this. How close am I? Uh, I am one, literally, like, one game and I get this. That's amazing. Because uh this salt is like only two uses which is like just slightly too few uh the three was perfect two is just too few um and it's still it's only 15 right it's not that expensive you literally get more money if you get the ghost to step in both the salt and you take two photos you get more money now the tier three or the tier two um is a line and you can use it three times so it's basically like having i don't know four of these or like three of these is built into one of these like it is a huge improvement because you can place these on doors and they even slow the do they slow the ghost during the hunt or no that's just the tier three yeah yeah so the tier three does the same thing as this one but it also slows the ghost during a hunt which is a very niche use case i mean maybe not very niche but like uh what you could do in like a root in like if you are in the dead end you can place salt on the ways leading out of the dead end knowing that when the ghost steps into that during a hunt it won't be chasing you as effectively so i can see that being useful i just have to test it which is level 68 so that's gonna take a while um but yeah i i think this will be a huge upgrade the level the level um or the level two here is way better than the level one now we're we only three more items sorry for talking so much i'm just trying to make this like the my my complete opinion after play like it's my it's still like a first impression but i have played like 14 hours at this point um so this this one i don't see a reason to ever upgrade this i forgot how expensive this was but if it's any more expensive than like 2000 i really don't see a reason for it because all it does is making the sanity restore slightly faster which is just completely useless like it doesn't like i mean i guess if you really are in like a massive rush for whatever reason then it could make a difference but i just don't see it like those 10 seconds don't matter too much so i i don't see the reason to upgrade there for this one it it adds an additional range to it which as i said sound sensor uh like sleeper hit in my opinion uh, because they have gained a completely new use case, which is that they are now useful during the investigation itself. Besides just finding the ghost room, you can place them and then they will play back the audio that they pick up in the truck. So if you get something like a Yure, you'll be able to get a Yure ability. What will be really cool, I don't think they do it, is if they can detect Banshee screams. I don't think they can, but that would be really cool. Uh, and what what is this? Tier, th tier three the tripod has rotational joints allowing you to uh, an extreme oh yeah you can change each shape is represented by different directions the tier three has a speed upgrade oh you mean the meds yeah 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 i sorry i was talking about the tier two yeah yeah the, the the tier three meds obviously are good because they give a a speed boost for 10 seconds yeah like for sure that the uh, i i thought that was like 
that it, that doesn't have to be stated that is obviously a good item and i think in order to get the tier three you do need to have the tier two as well so that's a reason to unlock it because you want to get the tier three right but this is like super useful i, I mean not super useful i probably would still rather have a actually it's actually pretty damn sick in situations like where you want to take the ghost photo during a hunt you can then pop one of you can have flashlight in one hand this in the other and then uh photo cam in the third slot and then you can take photos however you can also just use the built-in head cam right you can just put the use the built-in head cam flashlight and then you still have three slots because right now what's the problem with taking photos during a hunt is that you need to have a smudge stick which is two slots where do you get your photo cam like what you have to do now is take the ghost photo then pick up a smudge stick smudge the ghost get away like it's a little finicky where this would make that way easier because you can just run away okay anyway um and then the tripod is in my opinion more of a novelty it's, it's especially the tier three i don't know if i'm even i'm probably gonna get this one but they better make it cheap because this seems like completely pointless like this one this hasn't been knocked over a single time for me like not ever uh so having a more a, a more increase in knockdown resistance is just completely useless um in my opinion because i haven't had that problem at all and the rotation control is nice but it's not really that big of a deal it's just an, I, I like the rotation control it's just a novelty it's not that big of a deal but it is fun okay so there you go that is my big review uh, initially of all the different items and playing with the tier ones in the next video i might repeat some of the stuff that you've heard in this video but we're going to focus on the tier two items and then in the video after that we're going to focus on the tier three items. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your opinions are. You don't have to agree with me. Uh, be civil about it, though. Don't start yelling at me for uh, having an opinion about a video game. It's just a video game. We can like it all the same. You don't have to agree on everything, a single thing. And I would love to hear your opinion. If you think the upgraded uh, thermo is an absolute must-have and I'm an idiot for liking the tier one, that's that's fine we can have our own things but uh anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instagram click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye